Hey, <laughs> I'm Christopher JMUA and welcome back to my live, unless you've never been here before, which you haven't because I just started this live. So welcome. We are just going to be playing with makeup today. I got some new stuff, but it's not like new new. It's not that new new, you know, it's just new stuff for me, some drugstore stuff. Thought maybe I might do a full face of drugstore, except I don't have a drugstore palette that's new. So maybe I'll just use one of the old palettes I haven't tried out yet. Let's see if the live is working because I've had lots of technical difficulties. Hey! I need to turn my live on my phone so that I can see it in real time and make sure that everything is working properly. Because I've been sitting here for like, well, 12 minutes getting this to work. Aw, oh, thanks poor mom life. Want to see the new stuffs? Okay. Well, I shall show you the new stuffs. Like, I kind of want to just do a full face of drugstore. I think I might. It's been a while since I've used drugstore everything. Find a new old one. One you loved, forgotten about. Well, I still have old palettes that haven't been opened yet. So I think I'm going to use one of those. I just gotta figure out which one, because there's quite a few over there that I still haven't used. It is hot in here. Very, very hot. I'm like, on fire. Okay, let's see. You know, I still haven't opened my Sophia Nygaard X Colourpop. Um, Lipstick collection. I need to... I don't know, maybe open that and look at it. I want to buy new stuffs. Just felt very unmotivated lately. My god, I know the feeling. Unmotivation is exactly what I've been feeling lately. But luckily, some of these sales started recently, like the Ulta Spring Sale and the Sephora VIB Sale. So there's some stuff coming in that I can review from that, and some stuff that I've wanted to pick up anyway. Ooh, new Profusion stuff at Walmart. Okay, well that works. Hi, Jessica! Sorry, I'm reading things down there, obviously. I'm not reading here. So me looking over here is actually me looking at you. Technically. Okay, so here's the palettes that I have that we can use. There's the Huda Beauty Neon Palette. This one is in Neon Pink Obsessions. We have the Huda Beauty Medium Palette. I don't know. Medium. Obsessions. Medium. Nude. That's it. I don't know. The Colored Rain Berry Cute Palette which I've had this unopened since before I switched beauty rooms. So last time I had the glitter wall is when I got this. That's how long it's been that I haven't done anything with it. Then we have the Laura Geller Iconic New York Collection Palette, the Artist Couture Midnight Maven Palette, and this one is pretty new, the um, BoxyCharm Palette. The new BoxyCharm Palette. <laughs> Thanks, Danielle. <laughs> it's a little excessive at the moment, if you know what I mean. But I did redo my nails last night, and they're kind of bad because these are my real nails. These are not acrylic or anything else. It's just my nails now. And the acrylic that's left over and all the scratches that were on it, pretty much the texture of my actual nail itself is very bumpy and coarse at the moment. So these need to heal. So I'm gonna leave them like this until they break, pretty much. Then I'll redo them. 
and I'll have more acrylic. Oh, I love a challenge. I'm okay with a challenge. And I always feel like whenever everybody hates or has problems with a palette, that's when I love it. Because that usually means it's like extra powdery. But not boxy. Okay, so what's next? While you guys are deciding, I'm going to open this Gerard Cosmetics giveaway that I won. Okay, Shane. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> No! <laughs> no, pick a different one. <laughs> I don't want to try to live up to that challenge yet. I want to... I forgot the username of... The person I won this palette, or this giveaway from. Gerard Cosmetics giveaway. I'm trying to look really quick. Wow, I suck. Oh, Maxine. Maxine's crafty and stuff on Twitter. That's who I won this giveaway from. It's Maxine underscore 4444. And she also has a YouTube channel. And her YouTube name is Maxine's crafty and stuff. Can you see that? No, you can't. I will um try to remember to update my description after this video is over, or after this live is over with her account so that you have it money where your mouth is <laughs> no because now i know you're being like okay fine do it so that makes me not want to even more Oh, you tried it? Oh, I thought you were talking about, like, just what everybody was saying about it, like, trends. Ruth, that was bummed with my regular and premium boxy charm this month. It was mega skincare heavy. Yes, it was mega skincare heavy. I was happier with my regular boxy charm than I was my premium boxy charm, though, because I at least got a little bit of makeup in my regular boxy charm. Mix the hood of nude and the colored rain. Well, that'll probably be easy because I think the colored rain is kind of. Lackluster, based on the swatch that I did. Swatches mean nothing. What am I saying? I love you, Mama Curtis. Thank you. That's very sweet. Oh, God, you're so lucky. I love Jen and Dark Cosmetics. So do I. But I think I have all the stuff that I want in this giveaway, actually. So Adam and Eve. Hydra Matte. I do have that one. Metal Matte in the shade. It's complicated? Maybe I don't have that one. Colors, Colored Rain. Okay, I, I think I'm going to go with the um, the Colored Rain and the Huda Nude palette. Because then we're knocking out two palettes at once. See, these were all going to be reviews. And I actually think they're still going to be because I'm going to start my Throwback Thursday um, series. Who am I? <laughs> what do you mean, who am I? Free shipping code? Agreed. Hi, Alex. Yes, you, Alex. Okay, it's complicated. Ooh, I don't think I do have this one. That's really pretty. Whoa. It's a metal mat, but it's like... Very mauve -y. Actually, it's the same color as my nails! That's cute. Yay, it was meant to be. Look at that. Ah, ah. Okay, then the Gerard Cosmetics. Oh, that's Lip Medic. I thought that was going to be the eyeshadow base. It's a lip scrub. It's in the flavor buttercream. Not up for a challenge in neutral color. <laughs> 
dollars. <laughs> yeah, who am I? Honestly, I am Chris on a very rainy, cloudy Sunday. That is who I am. Today's just a play day, you know? But I wanted to hang out with you guys at the same time because I miss you. Am I James Charles? <laughs> Not quite. You make terrible music. Okay. Well, thanks for the comment. I will screenshot and check out the terrible music once the live is up. Thanks for that. Oh, you don't like the lip scrub? Well, I have on the Dior um, lip glow right now. So let's take that off first. Ugh, I just sprayed my face with the Iconic London Prep Set and Glow. This is beautiful on the skin, but it is so heavily fragranced. All I smell now are roses. Aww. stuff is so pink. It says it's supposed to be like a light soft pink, but that is like a almost a neon pink. Ow. My nails are so brittle still and they bend so easily. But luckily there's so much polish on them that it's holding them together. Yay. Do you know where Guam is? I know generally where Guam is. I haven't been to Guam, no. Whoa, why is it so hard? Why, Danielle? I'm curious to see why this isn't good. I'm not being a jerk. That was jerky. Or I thought. Hi, Gina. I'm good, thanks. How are you? Uh, this is almost exactly like the elf. Um... Exfoliator, not the brown sugar one, but the other one. Actually, I know which one. I think I still have it. This one, the one that's Mint Maniac. Except the Mint Maniac one is much more hard, but it's like a wax, a really thick wax with granules in it. That's pretty much what that is, or it feels like it. It worked, though. I can feel that my lips are very new, as one might say. Okay, what else was in there? I think maybe she was reading your comments as, like, spam, I thought, maybe. Like, that's what she thought it was. Rather than maybe you just being from a different country. And I think it was just misinterpretation of communication, let's say. Make me a MOD. MOD. What does MOD stand for? Saying that, oh, I thought you were talking to me. I, I don't think he meant to be that way when he said, am I James Charles? Like, I think that was like, I thought it was kind of funny. 
Someone's in the ER on Wednesday and then transferred by ambulance to a hospital two and a half hours away from us because of his brain tumor and now having seizures. They're making him tachycardic. Oh man, I'm really sorry. That sucks. I hope everything works out. Oh, okay, Ruth. I'll make you a mod. <clears throat> Tried St. Ives and Sweet Passion Fruit. St. Ives what? Chris is better than James. <laughs> That's sweet. Thanks. I'm not seeing half the comments. Oh, with the comments... Like, whenever it's pulled up and you see, like, the live chat section where it shows you the little bars that are on there, change it from top chat to live chat, and then it'll show you as they come in. Okay, the next thing is Hydromat Liquid Lipstick in the shade Mercury Rising. I have this one, too. I need to put the lid back on. I'm going to have to go through later all of my giveaway stuff and put the extra ones in there, or... I'll put them, I have a drawer dedicated to like secondary backup items, so I might put some in there. To be honest, sir, I don't know you, but I will subscribe to you. Well, thank you, Alex. So I'm dealing with a lot needed this live. Well, good, Gina. That's why I do these lives, so I can just help everybody, you know, spread their wings and fly away from boredom and quarantine. We also have a mini Slay All Day setting spray in the scent. Rose. Do I have rose? Surely I have rose. I have lots of little ones. Here's a pink one. Jasmine. Ugh. It's this one. Hello, G. Thank you, Tao. James can't blend. <laughs> you know, okay, in all honesty, when I was first introduced to James and he uploaded all these like crazy artistic looks to Instagram, I loved them. I did. I just think that maybe his success took a hold of him quickly and it made him a little different, as it probably would lots and lots of people. I don't know. Can you detach Adam and Eve? Is that a limited edition shade or a new one? Swatch. <laughs> but detach. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I don't... You know, Adam and Eve, I remember... Let me get it from my collection because I know I've got it in here. I don't remember if it was the one that was in that mystery box or not for sure. Here we go. Adam and Eve. It's more of a... Lighter tone. <laughs> I knew what you meant, Danielle. But it's got a little bit of like a pinky undertone to it. Yeah, very pinky peach. <clears throat> yeah, I would agree with that, Brenda. Wow, my face smells so intense. I'm going to spray my face really quick with the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow because I need a different smell. That iconic London stuff, it, made, it makes my face look pretty, made my face look pretty, but I can't smell that for any longer. I can smell that forever. That's pretty. I want it. <laughs> well, we'll see if I have it in the giveaway um, box. If I don't, we'll talk. Now let me see if I have this rose scented setting spray. He needs me for a personal assistant. <laughs> Right? <laughs> I've been up since 5 a.m. at 7 30 now. It's chasing every three year old all day. My brain is malfunctioning. Oh man. I would imagine it is, Danielle. 
So I guess I don't have rows anywhere. I sure thought I did. But I did not. So that's good. Now, a BB plus in the shade Sophia. Might have this one. Maybe. Oh no, I have Bridget. But I could have sworn I opened Sophia. And used it. I remember swatching it in a video at some point in time and I thought maybe it was too deep or something. I don't remember exactly what the issue was. Well, I guess maybe I just don't have it anymore. Did I give it to somebody? <gasps> I did give it to somebody. I gave it to a dark-skinned girl that I went to school with. She, it was like my, anything that was too deep for me, I just gave it to her because I couldn't use it, and I knew she would use it. <sighs> Can't do the icy drops in original, too dark for me. Oh, yeah. I love the peach setting spray. Yeah, the peach one is really good as well. I really like the Morphe X Saweetie so setting spray. That peach is wonderful. So I'm going to go ahead and... Well, I guess I should give this away. If I gave away the last one, I don't really know what else I could use it for because I'm not going to use it as highlighter. I don't really like it as an underneath the foundation highlighter because it's too deep. But the only in-person deep-skinned friend that I had that loved beauty isn't the person I thought they were. So, I guess I'll just hold on to that and save it for later. Maybe I'll put it in the giveaway stuff. I have another um, pop socket, which I do have. I feel like this is a mystery box. Like, I feel like it was one of the actual mystery boxes and everything that was either a duplicate or just everything was put into this giveaway. That's what it feels like. Medium skin tone. I feel like it's better for deep, personally, but... I don't know, that's probably up to interpretation. And this is the, oh, Supreme Lip Cream in Electric Rose. I think I have this too, potentially. Let's see, where did I put Supreme Lip Creams? They're probably in with nudes. You lost, Christopher? Please find me. I'll miss you. These are not Supreme Lip Creams. Well, are they? Hello? Hello? Are Supreme Lip Creams square? No? Oh, there they are. Okay, I found them. Gotta feed the fan damnly. Okay. Well, have fun. And did Curtis cut all of his hair off? Here's Electric Rose. This is really, really pretty. Okay. We'll be here, I promise. Wow. That is so bright. Ooh! Man, I love that. You love to try Grace BB Illuminator? Yeah. I, uh... The Bridget one is really, really pretty. It's just really, it's really pinky toned. That's the only thing I don't necessarily favor about it, but I do really like it and I do really use it a lot as like my, well, like I said, under the foundation highlight. 
That's what I like it the most for. So one thing from that was not a duplicate. Now it was the metal mat in the shade. It's complicated. So I have a new metal mat. That's exciting. Let me, oh no, and the rose setting spray. Sorry, I forgot about that. I forgot where I've been putting my metallic lipsticks though. Oh, right there. You are the one who makes me whole In my heart and in my soul And just like the sun you show me the light I'm amazed in your reason why mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, what are we going to use for drugstore? I'm going to do my eyes first, probably. Do I have a drugstore eye primer? I do! Um, maybe. Don't know if this is going to work. Hey, Louis! Just noticed that you shared my tweet. Thank you, love. Me? And if so, me, you're welcome. Glad I could help. I don't remember which, which tweet it is. <sighs> okay. I'm going to go ahead and open these up so I can get to using them. I'm always so excited to use new things that I haven't opened yet. I'm really excited for my Sephora to order to come in because I ordered... I'll just tell you what I ordered because I forgot already. And I already have a new order ready to place. <clears throat> yes, you. I've... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually retweeted that right before. I went live. Danielle, because of you, I ordered the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting, but it picked medium. <sighs> I wanted light. I picked light. Fly. Lewis, it's me, Lois. It's female. Lois, Lois. Oh, okay. I gotcha. Lois. <clears throat> okay, so here's the nude palette. Medium. It's got rosy tones and neutral tones. Almost a mauve kind of tone, I guess. Right there-ish. And then... Very Cute from Colored Rain. It's six pan, purples, and moths, I guess. Actually, these two go together really well. Danielle, that was very, very smart of you. Yeah. I can make that work. It's hard to visualize as a whole palette, but I can see it, I think. I can see it. Okay, so that's one palette there now. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and pull out all the products I'm going to be using so that I can be prepared and do this, you know, kind of quickly. Good news, I also got a Ripe and Ready CoverGirl Clean clean fresh cream blush and it's a mauvey purpley tone too so it's gonna match this perfectly um, I also got the Maybelline concealer the uh, instant age rewind concealer I had one of these a long time ago but it was way way too warm it was back when I was a medium toned guy instead of a light medium toned guy I also got these two lipsticks don't know if we're gonna be using 
either one of these today. Maybe this one. It's kind of mobby, but I don't know how well this red one's going to go with whatever look is created. And now we need primer, foundation. Primer, foundation. So primer, we're going to use, oh man, do I have, yes, okay. I'm going to use the Maybelline Master Blur Stick, I guess, and the Elf Jelly Pop Dew Primer. That's the that on that. Uh, we have a concealer now. We need blush. No, I have a blush. We need a contour and a bronzer. Cream contour, bronzer, um, L'Oreal Lumi bronze it. Wet and Wild Mega Glow contour palette, contour, and a little bit of highlighting, maybe if I choose to do some highlighting, you know. Um, somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. If that blush isn't strong enough, I'll be using this Maybelline Master Blush blush. And highlight. How about let's use a drugstore cream highlight. And we'll also get, go in with a drugstore um, powder highlight. Okay, so the e.l.f. Jelly Highlighter in the shade Bubbly can be the cream. And let's do... Juvia's Place. That counts, right? Or should I do... I guess maybe I should pick... Wet and Wild? No. No, no, no. Not Wet and Wild. We're picking Juvia's Place. Juvia's Place is still a drugstore. This is the Tribe Highlighter Volume 3. And we're going to need Brow. Brow product. So let's say the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Tint Pin. And also. need a pencil. We'll use the e.l.f. brow pencil. And I need a brow gel. Oh no, do I have... Yeah. We'll use the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Mascara. That's fine. I thought I had a clear one though. Drugstore, but I guess I don't. Oh yeah, I do. Believe Beauty. Clear brow gel. And we need an eyeliner. Hmm, which eyeliner shall we use? Oh, I got some of these new, like, multi-stick things. I'll pull out the light purple and the hot pink one, I guess. Maybe we'll use one of those. And maybe... 
just in case this Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Highlighter, which is a perfect nude type tone. Okay. And now for a wing. If we do a wing, I've got the Wet n Wild. No. We'll use NYX. If I can find it. Yeah, the NYX, that's the point eyeliner. Whew, that was a lot. And that's probably still not all I need. Oh, I don't have drugs. Mm, I do have drugstore lashes. Never mind. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I think with drugstore lashes, I'm just going to have to go basic, basic, because I don't really have too many options. So, let's just use... Well, here, I'm going to let you guys pick. We have Ardell Dimmies in 101 and Believe Beauty Goddess. Yeah, that's it. The lag is unbearable. Watching this and recording this is tragic because it's so delayed. Oh, hey, Cosmetics Genetics. Yes, don't forget to like the stream. Thank you. Wouldn't make it geek be considered both indie and drugstore since they're sold at Target now? Hmm. I would probably say so, yeah. But I'm trying to, I'm trying to think of CVS. That's what I was trying to think of. I was trying to think of as many things as I could get at CVS as possible, which everything... Except Believe Beauty, I can get it at CVS. So I feel like I was rather successful in that. It's kind of what I wanted to stick with. If I was able to. Oh, I need a mascara too. Ow! Oh, my nail. Mascara! Mascara! Keep hitting my elbow and it keeps hurting. Ow! <laughs> okay. Got it. Kind of narrowed down. Yeah, literally at a drugstore. So I got the Wet n Wild Renegade Mascara, the Maybelline Mega Plush Volume Express, and the CoverGirl Super Size Big Curl Mascara, also the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Primer and Mascara Duo, which I didn't like the first time I tried, but I'm willing to try it again. And the NYX on the Rise, which I know I love this. I kind of want to go back to stuff that I haven't been using recently so I can either fall in love or figure out what I need to get rid of. Oh, I forgot about my MAC in Dimension Mascara. I really like that mascara. It's okay. I'll, I'll survive. I'm fine. Oh, I never told you what all I got from Sephora, my Sephora order. So, I got the Charlotte Tilbury Powder. Thank you. I also got the Fenty Cream and... Or no, Cream Blush and Bronzer. Which I'm super stoked about. I'm really, really, re really ready and excited to try those. I also got the Joy Cosmetics Essential High Coverage Concealer, not the wand one, but the cream one, and also the Patrick Ta Major Brow Shaping Wax. I got that to do a review, and the Melt Cosmetics Rust Eyeshadow Palette. Got that for a review. And in my cart currently, I'm waiting for them to get the Hourglass. Setting spray and the Hourglass Primer that just came out. 
but I also have the Tatcha liquid silk canvas and I had the Dior glow thing because it was just a sample but <laughs> Ruth you know me so well yes I do mean reorganize into a hated it drawer I did throw away something the other day a mascara it was a mascara actually because it was old and dry and clumpy and I couldn't get it to work anymore so L'Oreal duo got it that's what we're gonna use I have lots and lots of makeup in front of me now. I'm not going to pick the lip products yet because I'm not 100% sure what I want to use yet. But I do have enough to start. Except for setting spray. Drugstore setting spray. don't want to use a matte finish one, but I think all of my drugstore setting sprays are matte finishes. Tarte, Makeup Revolution, you can't get it at CVS. Morphe, definitely not in Beauty. Well, I still have my Believe Beauty Makeup Perfecting Setting Spray. Okay, well that's pretty much it. Wow. Oh no, I have a Milani Matte. Dang it. So I have NYX Matte and Milani Matte. I don't really like matte, you know? Matte can kind of stay away. What am I drinking? It is actually, it's funny that you say it makes you want coffee. Oh, it does kind of look like coffee. It's Mio Energy, but in the flavor Iced Java Mocha or something like that. It's coffee flavored. So it's coffee flavored water. Probably gonna start with using the Wet n Wild Natural Finish Setting Spray, but last time I sprayed it, it's pretty much out, so it is pretty much out. But that's okay. Oh, I need a sponge too. Wait, drugstore sponge. I need a drugstore sponge. The good news is I have the oh 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 the Elf sponge. So we're covered on drugstore sponges. Uh oh, where's my sponge holder? <gasps> oh no, where's my sponge holder? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I can have coffee on keto, which I cheated today anyway. I had a Rice Krispies treat. But, I can have coffee, I just have to drink it with um, like Splenda or Stevia, and I can only have almond milk as creamer. I can't have milk or creamer. Yeah, I hate cherry. I do have some in black cherry, but I don't like drinking it because I don't like the flavor of cherry. But they were 99 cents at Dirt Cheap, so I grabbed some while I could. Or no, Ollie's. They were 99 cents at Ollie's. I need to apply makeup while I talk. Maybelline. Oh no, I said I was going to do eyes first. Eyes. Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Canvas. I have no other option here. This is the only thing I have. Oh, well, dang it. I guess I lied. I do have... Ugh, I hate this stuff. Okay, I guess I have to use it because I don't have anything else. Okay, we're going to use the NYX White Eyeshadow Base. Because that's all I got in drugstore. <laughs> Rice Krispies. <laughs> They are necessary in every diet. They're chocolate-covered Rice Krispies treats that I got from the convenience store. They have chocolate coatings, they have vanilla cream coatings, and they have caramel coatings. I've been kind of picking out on those, though. Yeah, the 99 cents makes them worth it. At least once a week? Okay, good, because I've been going kind of ham with the Rice Krispies treats. I've been pretty much cheating every day, honestly. Why are you guys so far away? I gotta fix that. Better? I kid. That was too close. 
Okay, I think we're good. Okay, I'll use the Makeup Revolution. It's cheating, but I'll use the Makeup Revolution. I know you can't get it at CVS, and I'm sorry, but I don't want to use a white base. I also got the uh, Inglot Duraline Makeup Mixing Liquid, and I'm so excited to try that. I can't try it today, obviously, but I'm going to try it soon. Chocolate covered. Too much. Yeah, it is too much. Because that's... Because that's us, where you put us. What? I don't know what that meant. I have a hair on my lip. Get cozy. Yeah, you're right. Grab a snack. Grab your drinks. Flip me up on the TV if you have the ability to. Because it's going to be a minute. Okay, here we go. Let's try this. See if this works. I need my cream brush. Cream brush. Where are you? Where are you? There you are, you little bugger. Typos are gnarly today. Well, at least they're making sense in nonsense ways, rather than being just like, you know, random miscellaneous mixed up letters that don't make any sense. At least they're forming words. Never realized how banana colored this was. Probably because I've only ever used it to cut my crease, since it is a cut crease product. Canvas. The us was supposed to be is, because that is where you put us. Wait, because that's us where you put is? That still don't make no sense. Are you sure your typo didn't have a typo? The us was supposed to be is. Because that is where you put us. But even that, I don't know what that means. Because that is where you... I don't know. I'll wait until there's a longer explanation. Telling me what the, the meaning was. Oh, someone just came in my front door. I heard the beep, 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 beep. Or I'm hearing things and no one came in my front door. Mark went down to see Madeline and his mom. And that was right before I decided to go live. So I'm live instead. Hi, Alex. How you doing? Oh, this doll tin brush is fantastic. When you said... Oh, we are far away. Oh, okay. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. That makes so much sense. <laughs> okay. Well, see, I think my problem is the lag. Because by the time comments get back to me, I've already watched myself do things for about a minute. Almost a minute and a half, maybe. So it's kind of hard to keep up with myself. Oh, this brush is so beautiful for this. Ow. You know, now that I think about it, I don't really have any drugstore palettes. Even old ones. I think the closest I have is one Profusion palette. Like, I don't have any Maybelline palettes or any L'Oreal palettes or... Um, I don't have a Wet n Wild palette. I don't... I don't really think I have... I don't know. It is a fierce lag. But it's kind of like that every time. This brush is amazing. It's the uh, Doll Tin Perfecting, no, Prepping Perfector brush. But it's like, it's concise enough to fit really great in here, here and over here, but it's fluffy enough to not give any harsh edges so I can like actually blend out a cream instead of having, like with a flat brush, how you have those like flat edges. Oh yeah, I liked the Profusion 
um, palette I have. It's nice. Oh my goodness, I never picked a foundation. You bought four? That's awesome. Yeah, but when I, I'm trying to stick with only stuff I can get from CVS. Like, that's, I'm, I'm just doing drugstore. Like, I mean, uh, uh, not drugstore price, drugstore location. <laughs> Except for the palettes, obviously. But the palettes, I just want to use them because they've been here stuck, not being used for so long. So every time I go live, I try to want to stay using just a new old palette. Where's the other finish concealer? I bet you're right. I bet it would. Well, I don't know. I feel like it'd be hit and miss for a lot of people. At least it isn't an addiction to Lemire or Tom Ford. Right? My gosh. I feel like I'm going to have an addiction to this Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Soft Radiance Foundation. Well, I know I do with the foundation, but I'm afraid that it's going to extend past that. I want to try a lot more Jouer products. I know they're not like Tom Ford level. They're more like, I don't know, like prestige pricing level. What was I doing? <sighs> oh, foundation. Yeah. Um, so we have L'Oreal, no, L'Oreal it is. We're going to use the Infallible today, because I haven't used it in a minute. The only, um, Pro Fusion palette I have is the one from spring of last year, which, what was that called? Here it is. Oh, it's Pro Pigment Palette. That's the Pro Fusion one I've got. Which is funny because the tones in here are pretty much the Colored Rain and the Huda Palette combined. That is so funny. So it's like we're using that palette without using that palette. The Mirage palette, I've seen that one everywhere. I almost bought it today and I put it back. I like their stuff, but they put too many neutrals in larger palettes. I I can agree with that. I saw one at Walmart the other day that was really pretty though. It was like all of their bright tones, like their rainbowy type colors, and that was really, really, really pretty. I really wanted to get that one. I don't know why I didn't. Probably because I didn't have any money at the time, most likely. Okay, let's start. I feel like I'm going to be kind of a basic biatch today and just do the dang thing, you know? So, that means I'm going to start with a big giant fluffy brush, which this one is the M441. And I'm going to start with the shade Kiss Berry in the colored rain. Berry what? Berry? Very cute palette. It's this one here. The only one I have is a Spectrum palette. Spectrum palette! That's the one that's all colors, right? I, okay, Alex and Daniel, you both have talked me into it. The Hubs has to make a Walmart run on Tuesday, so I'm gonna have to pick them up some of those. <laughs> that's funny. The pigmented. I love the $5 palettes. They are so good. Even the blush and contour ones. You guys are making me want to try more profusion. This is a really warm shade. You love their neon orange palette? And one of their bold neon liners? I didn't know that Profusion made liners. Wow, this is much more red than, it looks like a terracotta in the pan, like a berry terracotta. Do it! Get more profusion. <laughs> okay. Um, 
I feel like I'll have to wait until more things... Well, no, Walmart. I guess I could go to the neighborhood market. I usually only go there right now when I need more Mio, though. Or to pick up a prescription. That's where I pick up a lot of my prescriptions, because it's so close to me. Lip cream mattes. Oh, you know what? Maybe I do have some Profusion lip products. There's a lot of, of products that I had given to me before I really, really got into makeup. Well, it was whenever I first started getting into makeup. A lot of friends, I was really lucky, gave me a lot of their um, older makeup that they just didn't want anymore. And apparently a lot of friends had a lot of older makeup that they just didn't want anymore. So I have tons of much older products that I really... I went through them all to sort them. But I don't remember half the stuff that was really in the stuff that they gave me. Just because it's been over a year now. That's a really pretty color. I like that. Last all day and they don't transfer? Wow. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> just kidding. Um. Oh man, I don't know what to do. Oh, I must have dug my nail into the shimmer shade in this Huda palette. That sucks. Oh, you have a video on them? Okay. I'll have to check it out. I need more coffee. Water. Okay. <clears throat> I need to focus. Focus. Da, 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 da. Focus. You know what? I think I'm actually going to take the same brush. No, not the same brush. A different brush. I want one with some artificial bristles. Yeah, this one will work. The M330 pointed blender brush. And oh yeah, oh no. From the pokey thing. I'm also going to take the shade. The shade of it all. How about let's use this one? This shade? No, 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 no. This one, this shade here, and I'm going to blend this around Kissberry and kind of blend it out with that one. Wait, which one? That one. So, okay, that one. I got it. Yes, yummy, yummy water. Moment having nails sucky so stabber eyeshadow with them. Yeah, I know, right? These are so brittle right now, too, and the texture is just so gross. I know I already said that, but I'm already ready to have acrylics again just so I can get rid of the texture on these and make them pretty again. But I'm going to do my best to just wait it out a little bit. I'm using a restorative base coat and top coat so that I can kind of bring a little bit of the health back to my nails. <laughs> uh, that reminds me of... Um, oh, what is it? Ariel, um, The Little Mermaid. Ah, keep singing! Ah, 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 ah. Yes, that's it! Keep singing, girl! Dinner time for me. Bye, everyone. Share like the stream. Bye, boo. See you later. Alligator. Always remember and never forget that you are absolutely beautiful. And I love you. Bye. You know what? I need to swatch these shades side by side because I feel like they're the same. So, on my ring finger is the Huda, and then Kissberry from the Baby Cute palette is on my middle finger. So, middle, ring. Oh, never mind, those are very different. Those are some very pigmented mattes, though, that's for sure. One's almost like a... 
I guess more of a mauve, and the other one is more of a terracotta. Okay, I get it. So, what I'm doing right now, then, is I am toning down the terracotta, and I'm mauving it up. <laughs> With the mauve, as one might say. That was weird. I really just wanted to tone down the terracotta because I think I'm going to go with more of a neutral tone shimmer, so I didn't want it to be too different, I guess. Yes, Ariel and Ursula. That is exactly right. Under the sea. Don't know where that came from, I made it up, and it's up to me. Let's mop, 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 mop it up. Yes, definitely. And I kind of wanted to build up more of the mauve shade in toward the inner corner, so that it would be mauve to maroony. Which is sort of working. It's funny though because they're so similar in tone that it's really kind of hard to tell the difference between them. I mean, you could obviously tell swatched and side by side that they were very, very different shades. But once you kind of get them next to each other and start blending them around, it is really hard to tell the difference. I mean, you can see. Ooh, you know what? We might kick it old school and use a glitter if I still have all my NYX glitters. I don't know why I wouldn't, except for the fact that I can't find them. I had literally a collection of NYX glitters. Where have they gone? Has it really been that long since I've used them? Now I have one NYX glitter. Okay, well, never mind on the glitter. Those were the drugstore glitters I had, and now I don't. Okay, next step. No, not next step. I'm gonna take the big fluffy brush that I had already, that I've been using, and I am going to barely tap into the same shade that I was using on, no I'm not. I'm actually going to switch. Instead of using this shade, well, there's a delay over there. I can't see that one. I'm going to use this shade instead of this shade. So this one's a little bit deeper. No. No, no, no. I lied again. I'm going to go back to the same shade that I've been using from this palette, but just use the big brush instead. They are in that one drawer with all your glitters. <laughs> uh, yeah, they are. There's only one in there, though. The only one that I have from NYX still is this one. I actually think I put all of them in a giveaway. I bought a bunch of them on sale, and I was like, well, I can just get more Midas glitters when I want glitters. So I did. I gave away all the NYX ones because none of them were opened anyway. And I just kept my Midas ones. I do have some Wet n Wild ones, though. They're like in the little single things. I could use one of those. I was just thinking of like, I don't know, like a nude, pretty little, you know, glitter moment. But I don't have one from a brand at CVS, so I'm not going to do it. Anyway, I'm going to take this big, big brush and that Huda shade, and I'm just going to blend these edges out of the outer corner just to where it's a lot more soft I'll probably end up switching to just a clean brush to get a nice blend out there but really just right now I just want to kinda start the blend and get it shaped a little bit better and starting to blend it out and 
so on and so forth. Since it's not going to be very deep, I would rather it be a little bit more blown out so I can wing it out and blow it out that way. There we go. It's really pretty. I do need all of the glitters. But now that I've started collecting all of the Midas Cosmetics glitters, I kind of don't, I don't know, I kind of don't need all of the drugstore glitters. Because the Midas ones are really affordable, especially whenever you buy them when they're on sale for a dollar. <laughs> As Cora would know. What's your favorite song to sing when you need comfort? Um, man, I don't really have one, honestly. I have kind of a, I guess a set, sort of, arsenal of songs that I pull from. I'm going to use the M456 favorite brush ever, aside from the M506. And go into the shade Purpleberry in the... Color rain palette, it's that one right there. Oh, oh I'm so dumb. <sighs> Poked it again. But that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to start deepening up the crease with that one and hope that it doesn't turn terrible. Are you becoming a glitter snob? Becoming? Pfft, I don't know where you've been, honey, but I was born a glitter snob. I'm just kidding. No, I'm not going to be biased with glitter. I've got a ton of MAC glitters, and I've got a bunch of Anastasia glitters now. I just don't really have any drugstore glitters. Because honestly, for the longest time, I didn't like glitter. Glitter was messy and gross. It got everywhere, and it ruined my looks half the time. Whoa, that's very uneven. Um, I'd say one of my favorite songs, though, as like kind of a go-to, is... Hallelujah by Rufus Wainwright. I love, love, love that song, but that's more like my melancholy song, not my like happy one. Then more of like happy is um, Haven't Met You Yet, Michael Buble. Buble is like always a go-to. You're a fallen star. You're the getaway car. You're the line in the sand when I go too far. It's happy. And also, like, um... Aw. Oh, I forgot his name for a second. I know his name. Hold on. I'll get it. Oh, man. Maybe I won't get it. I'm just, just trying to think of the chorus, and I can't even think of the chorus. And I was just singing it in my head. If I wouldn't have thought to say anything, I would have remembered it. What is his name? Oh my gosh. I have to look. Ooh, I Like Me Better is really good, too. I like me better when I'm with you. Oh, no. I knew from the first time. I stay for a long time, cause I like me better when... I like me better when I'm with you. Oh, I think I'm getting close. Where is it? Where is it? Come on. Okay, there's I Like Me Better. I know it's right here. Shawn Mendes in my blood, Kings and Queens. Say something, say it, you were the reason, no excuse. Never be the same. Ah, maybe I can't find it. 
He's a guy, and he sings happy songs. Oh, bummer. That was such a great sale. He's kind of a hot redhead. I think he's a redhead. Maybe it's like reddish brown. Mm. I downloaded his entire album. Why can't I find him? Oh, my, my, my mother was a sunshine. Andy Grammer, jeez. Oh, that was going to kill me. My, my, my mother was a sunshine soldier. Every day it was a dream come true. She said that we were blessed by the breath deep inside us. She can make the colors in the sky turn blue. She said, honey, what you gonna do today? You're second guessing every single move you make. You're definitely gonna have some very hard days, but I'll be right here for you. And she said, before I go, there is one thing you should know. I give love to all of my people, all of my people need love, I give some, I give love to all of my people, all of my people need love, I give some, I give love to all of my people. I think you did spell it right. Ed Sheeran's iconic too. It's not who I was talking about, but Ed Sheeran is also iconic. One weekend we let the story begin, we're going out on our first date. You and me are thrifty, so go all you can eat, fill up the bag, and I fill up the plate. We talk for hours and hours about the sweet and sour and how your family is doing okay. You can get in the taxi, kiss in the backseat, tell the driver, make a radio play. And I'm singing like, girl, you know I want your love. Your love is handmade for somebody like me. Come on now, follow my lead. I may be crazy, don't mind me, say boy, let's not talk too much. Grab all my face and let that body on me. Come on now, follow my lead. Come, come on now, follow my lead. Mm -hmm. I'm in love with the shape of you. Oh my gosh. If you, there is a YouTube video of this, like, I don't know. They're like a, a dance. They're like a Broadway musical production company. And they dance to the shape of you. And it's hot. If you like to see beautiful men or women who are athletic and beautiful and very great dancers, then you should look up on YouTube. The sh hold on. Let me let me find it. Dancers. What are they? It is. It was like one of the most popular things. Oh, Shape of You. Oh, it's just called Shape of You hashtag Broadway. That's all the video is called. And it's good. Very good. I feel like if you like guys that are beautiful and have rocking bodies and and just those things, you'll like the video. They make a great musical. I drop all of all of my brushes. All of my brushes get dropped. I need more. <laughs> that is the answer when you drop all of your brushes. That's the only answer when you drop all of your brushes. Just buy more. You know, I had, I don't know who, I know some of you guys know already, but the Sigma brushes that I had, they were two pointed brushes. Someone told me about a Sigma brush warranty, which actually covers manufacturer defect. Technically, it was my fault. I dropped them, or well, I put them in a cup that had water in them, and they cracked. The wood on them cracked, so now they don't have any of the wood paint on the outside of them. But um, I emailed Sigma in reference to, like, warranty replacement, potentially. I haven't gotten a response back. It was, like, I don't know, probably a week ago. So maybe I'll get a response next week, hopefully. We'll see. 
I'm excited though. It'll be cool to have those brushes replaced so I can actually use them comfortably. You were talking about got it playing no nice butts. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> no, Ruth, I feel the same way. I have been so lazy. It's been hard enough to even stick with a diet, much less do anything. I did go outside yesterday and I like cleaned some shelves so I can use them down here in the beauty room. But that's about the extent of outside and active activeness I've had. I mean, Mark's been getting the pool ready and I've gone out there a couple of times with him. But really nothing major. I did do 25 push-ups today though. Oh. Okay, yeah, I don't remember his name either. But I emailed them, so we shall see if anything comes of that. Once I read the terms and conditions on their website about the replacement, like, they're really only, like, it's warranty. Not, it's not for, like, normal wear and tear or physical damage like that. It's just physical defect based on production issue. Like if you have a bow in them or they get sent to broken or something like that. I don't know. We'll find out. Next, I'm going to take this fluffier brush. It's the Morphe M200. Very pointy blender brush. And uh, a little hole in that shade is bothering me. I need to use it. And I'm going to deepen the eye look up, but with this shade. So I'm going to go on top of this cool purple tone with this, I don't know, like dark, I don't know, dark maroon? I don't know what I would call that, really. Maybe I shouldn't use this brush. No, I am. I'm just going to put this right on top of that purple because I kind of want to brown out the purple so instead of it being such a cool purple tone I want it to turn into more of like a more of a brown you know I wish I could play music on these lives last time I did it got demonetized though so I'm scared to now but man I wish I could It'd be a whole lot better than me sitting here singing all the time. I will admit, though, hearing the rain outside, I have a window unit, like, right there. So I can hear pretty much everything that happens outside. And it definitely sounds like rain. It sounds like a storm. And it's kind of nice. And I hear a four-wheeler, or some kind of all-terrain vehicle. So for those of you that are out of work right now, what have you been doing to stay busy? What are some ideas for me to do at home, preferably with Mark, that help keep you busy and entertained? I like arts and craftsy stuff. He likes it if I force him to. He doesn't admit it. He's not a creative person, though. Like, he just doesn't... His brain doesn't work in the way that... Mine works whenever it comes to, like, picking up a black and a blue pen and creating a one-eyed monster on the paper. You know? Like, he would never think of something like that. He would more so 
write a list of things to get done than draw something. Hi, Ellie. Weren't expecting me to still be live? Pfft. Well, still here. Probably still be here for a while. Well, it's been an hour and a half already, and this is where I'm at now. This look is getting very dark. Okay, planting, cook, both of those things sound like work so far. Next. I've actually been playing Xbox a lot, too. Well, kind of a lot. I'll, like, I'll start, and I'll get, like, 30 minutes in, and then I'll die. And I'll be like, meh, I'm done. Me, seven hour live. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, I've been playing this game called Seven Days to Die, and it's like you get thrown in... It's kind of like, it's a first person shooter, it is a crafting game, and it is a world, um, oh, what's the name? Free Range, I don't remember the name of it, it's called something, it's very specific too, but it's pretty much where you get just dropped open world game. That still doesn't sound right. It's when you get dropped into a world and you can do whatever you want wherever you want. Like you can walk the whole world. But you are thrown into a zombie apocalypse and you have to create where you want to live. And like you craft items and you have to um, survive. And it's really fun. It kind of sucks though because it's like always dark. Because it's a zombie apocalypse, even in the daytime... There's so much, like, smog and stuff in the air that it um, makes it always dark. So, of course, if you know anything about zombies, since they're so real, zombies love the dark and they come out more often at dark. So they're, like, always around. You should do a bit of Mark doing your makeup. I enjoyed it when you did his. That would be fun. He did my makeup too once, but that was like funny and playful doing my makeup. I don't play on Xbox. I play on PlayStation 4. Oh, I mean, everybody has their problems, you know? That's okay. I haven't had a chance to play since my brother has been home. Oh, bummer. PS4 too? Oh, man. Well, it's okay, you know? There are people that have degrees to talk to people like you guys, you know? Sometimes you just got to talk it out with people. Everybody has their problems and issues that they have to get over. And the first step is admitting it. And you guys both did. So I applaud that. Okay. Now I'm going to take the big fluffy brush again and just go around everything really quick. Then I'm going to take a clean fluffy brush and go around just the edges. Then we're gonna work on some shimmer shades. Oh yeah, I know you guys were waiting for that. Okay, that's beautiful. Animal Crossing on the Switch. I'm so jealous. Everybody's been playing Animal Crossing and I'm just sitting here like, oh, zombies, you know? But that's okay, I love the zombies, they're fun. I would like to play Animal Crossing though. The last time I played Animal Crossing was on a GameCube in like 20, I don't know, 2005, something like that. <laughs> I love your name, Surrey, and welcome. Hi. I love your name because I'm from Arkansas, and there's a lot of very thick accents here. And, you know, Siri is named Siri on an iPhone. And whenever somebody that has a really thick accent says Siri, and it sounds like, Surrey. <laughs> That's what your name reminded me of. It was funny. Switches are out of stock all over the UK. I'm guttered. Aw, that's a bummer. I'm sorry.
Okay, real quick, I'm going to take this, ow, my nails, this big old Beaky Blender brush. It's just a synthetic fluffy brush with an angle to it. And I'm just going to take it along the edges of all that color and just blend in little circular motions. We're going to go as much as a circular motion as we can and do the same thing in my inner corner. <laughs> I thought it was pretty good, sorry. Oh yes. That's so perfect. See, okay, I love when this happens. Can you see the difference in that side and that side on the inner corner? So I'm stuck with an Xbox and Fortnite. Hey, Fortnite's fun. Well, it was fun. It's still fun, but I haven't played in a long time. I feel like you guys are still so far away. So far away, I've been changing, but you'll never see me now. Now I'm blaming you for everything. Anybody know Crossfade? Anybody love Crossfade? I love Crossfade. I actually went to see Crossfade live one time. I have a picture with them, and I have a uh, signed drum cover, whatever those things are called, you know, the things that go on top of a drum and covers them. So like a drum cover. Are we really close? Are we too close? I feel like you can see my secrets. I feel like there's a very blunt edge between the deep shade here and the light shade up there. So I'm going to try and change that a little bit and just use the big fluffy brush that I used in the crease, but blow it out a little bit more. Hopefully that won't take the dark up too much. You see them? Oh no. Well, listen, don't tell anyone. Okay, guys. Don't tell anyone all my deep dark secrets that you now know. Is that better? Whoa, that is a lot better. It's not nearly as harsh. Yay! See? Okay. Everybody always says... The blending, you know, blend, blend, you blend, blend forever, seven hours, seven blend, and this is why. The proof is in the pudding, and I got a lot of pudding, okay? I'm just kidding. I got yogurt. Nobody's looking at my pudding. Oh my gosh, but that is beautiful. Trying to find the melatonin to give to the hubs. Poor dude hasn't slept since the car was stolen Tuesday. Oh man. Yeah, he needs some melatonin. He needs something. He probably needs some anxiety medication. After all that. Oh, no, no. Okay, now, I'm also going to... I guess... I'm probably going to take this shade, that bottom shade. I know I keep going into it, or keep talking about going into it and haven't, but now I actually am, and I'm just going to take it on the biggest brush that I used in the shade Kissberry first, and I'm literally just going to take this all over here and go on the outside of this. I just feel like it got very deep, very high, and I just want to add a little bit more color right here before I move on. <gasps> Curtis! Yay! You've missed this much, actually. Really, that's all. What did I miss with all your hair? I saw that picture right before I I just jumped into the chat in the groups to say that I was going live. But I saw that picture. I hearted it real quick. 
just didn't comment back. So I want to know, what's the tea on the hair, sis? Why is the hair everywhere? Sorry to hear that, Ruth. Warm milk might help. True, warm milk. Hot tea, Ruth. If you still have any of that stuff left over. Okay. We're no longer twins. Ah, oh, that means you're a baldy. Right? I can be a baldy easily. Been there, done that. Just go back on my channel. <laughs> okay, it's shimmer time. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Getting jiggy with it. Hey! Yo, what up, Brandy? Hi, Nefertiti. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad you're getting cameras too. For sure. You know, AT&T Digi Digital Life is a really good service. I've had that since I worked at AT&T. It was a lot better then, because then I got it for half off. But <laughs> I still like it. Well, good. Good, Ruth. Oh, but close. So you have, like, a crew cut. I'm going to use multiple shimmers, I think, because I want to use a shimmer from both the Very Cute Color Rain Palette and also the Huda Nude Medium Palette. So, this one has more of, like, it has a very bright purple in it. I'm not going to use that because I'm so tired of me doing purple look looks. And I know if I'm tired of it, everybody else is probably tired of it. So, I'm going to use probably this as, like, an inner corner and a brow bone. And I'm going to use a combo of, I think, mm, maybe... Oh, wow. Okay, so like probably these two and this one because this one, I didn't realize it, but this is the same color as my nails, but then it's dark brown. What? Maroon? I mean, mauve, I guess. Maroony mauve? Brown. Mauve. Brown. Mauve. Brown. It's really cool. I'm tired of purple looks. I know, right? Me too. Yes, poor ball. He's getting two to start. I told him I want 12. Oh, okay. <laughs> Listen, purples are very pretty, but I do them so much, so I have to force myself to not do them. <laughs> Ruth, why do you know that? <laughs> You're so right. Oh, it's terrible. That's why I'm trying to stay away from them, because you know that will happen. Did you just stab that color? No, that color has been stabbed. No. Okay, I'm going to use... You know, I said I was going to use those three. I might use the other three. I don't know. I'm just going to start with... <sighs> I'm going to start with this one. Nope, this one. I'm going to start with this one. Right now. Just right now. Hurry up. Do it. Don't talk about it. Just do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Please be a good shimmer. Oh! Yes, you're a good shimmer. Love that moment for me. Wow, that's actually really, really pretty. You're trying to stay away from blue? That's how I was when Blue Blood came out. I wanted to create so many blue looks. The Mark was like, babe, it's another blue look. After I was like creating them over and over again, I was like, yeah, you're right. I need to stop. So I did for a while. Really, I was in a collab with a bunch of other people that were, we did the, um, oh my gosh, the show from a long time ago where every character was a different color and I was Little Boy Blue. Or Benny Blue or Rainbow Bright. We did Rainbow Bright. Yeah. And I was the blue boy. That was my last blue look that I created. Oh, no, it wasn't. Blue Blood was. We actually did that, I think, right before Blue Blood. Then Blue Blood came out. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got that backwards. Sorry. So Blue Blood was my last blue look.
just gets hard after you've created looks for so long because you kind of get to the point where it seems like you're creating kind of the same sort of things over and over again. And it's really hard to break away from that sometimes just because you get into that habit of creating what you like. And what you like isn't necessarily what's best for a channel or an Instagram page because everybody sees the same thing over and over again. So they're like, oh, that's boring. Even though there's those people that are like, no, we love it. Keep doing it. The numbers speak for themselves. They do. Now I'm going to go into the Awesome Me Duo Chromey shade with the Morphe M209 brush. It's like a fluffy flat packer bend blender brush. Normally I use it for nose contour. But ever since I got the mini James Charles brush set that has my new nose contour brush. Yes, exactly. Ooh, that picked up a lot of color. Oh, it's so cool. I'm so glad I decided to do that like that because it's brown. You know, in a weird way, this kind of reminds me of the Charlotte Tilbury Mesmerizing Maroons palette. Except different, definitely different. You've been doing some neutral looks and some neons lately. Yes, I have. I've been trying to kind of change it up and keep it interesting for everyone. Yeah, I always end up using five or six colors in the same shape every time. I know what you mean. A lot of the time I'll always do like... Neutrally transition, lighter shade on the outside, deeper shade on the inside, inner corner highlight, or like inner corner lighter color, mid-tone lid, and then deep tone outer corner. What I'm doing right now, I seem to always do that. I've been doing a new series on my channel, so I can try new looks at all. That's awesome. God is watching. Yes, he is, Tamika, and I love him dearly for it. And I hope he continues to watch, because when he doesn't, that's the day that I worry. Um, I'm a sinner? Why? Educate me, Tamika. I'm so sorry. What have I done? The blasphemy of it all. Because God loves me, I will not judge. Because I love you anyway. And if you're having a bad day, I hope it gets better. And if you're not having a bad day, good. I'm glad. Um, what were we talking about? Oh, new series on your channel. I am excited about the um, the Throwback Thursday. I keep saying that I'm going to do it, and I will eventually. I just have to get the like drive to do it. Once I get there, I will. So, I'm hoping that I can get to the point where I grab just old palettes and bring them back and kind of revive them in a way. <clears throat> Three blending out lid, inner corner, some is outer corner. Yeah, exactly. Fenty Beauty palette, trying to do it like yours. I'm not creating anything that looks good. Oh, whatever. I'm sure you're doing great. Men like you, you are everything that's wrong in the world. Mm. Well, if you knew what was wrong in the world, you'd obviously be doing a better job to fix it. Sorry, honey. Thank you, Ruth. I appreciate it. I'm also excited about starting the series with the... Um, Tutorials. Well, not really tutorials. More like general classes. I really want to make it focus on every single product and every step of the makeup routine, which I've talked about it before. I'll probably talk about it again before I actually get around to doing it, but I want to make it just every step. You know, have one for priming, 
and talk about all the different primers, um, show the different effects of them, you know, what a, uh, drop everything, what a um, mattifying primer does, what a pore filling primer does, what a hydrating primer does, and just literally give every detail that I can possibly think of about that product or that type of product, and it'll be like, exactly, Cora, Makeup 101. That's the title of it. Um, and just go into detail. I feel like that's something that's lacking in the community and could really benefit for a lot of people. <laughs> Tamika is probably having a hard time at home, guys. It's a really difficult time for a lot of people right now. A lot of people don't even know what's going to happen tomorrow. So let's just chop it up to everybody's not in their right mind. So now I'm going to use the Morphe M416 brush and I'm going to put down the Huda palette and we're going to go back in to the berry. The berry cute. Because it's so very cute. And I'm going to use Pinkleberry. <laughs> That's so cute. Pinkleberry. Oh, that is really cute. That's going to be perfect for this. So, I know I'm going to have to go into it again because I'm going to have to re-highlight the inner corner once I go in with like concealer and everything but for now we're just gonna use it toward the inner corner right here oh wow that's amazing That is a really, really beautiful color. Huh. Have we ever been in our right mind? <laughs> no. No, not at all. We have never, ever been in our right minds. But that's why I love us. Because who says what the right mind is? You know? Nobody. Nobody knows what's right. We might have been supposed to have walked backwards all our lives, and we didn't know, you know? But just because Ruth, no bad example because there's a Ruth here, just because George, back in the day, decided that he wanted to walk forward and teach his kids to walk forward, we all walk forward. Thanks, George. Who knows, maybe it was George of the Jungle. I love you all too. I don't know where I'd be without you. Probably Tamika's shit list. It's all educated guesses. Yes, it is. Because nobody really knows. This is a really interesting shade. It's so buttery, too. But it's like, I thought it was going to be more of a white, but it's not. It has like a white reflecty kind of tone. My brother and father's name are George. <laughs> well, that helps. Curious George. Yeah, Curious George started by walking forward. He was so smart. Okay, I'm going to stop with that shade. Oh, no, I'm not. I forgot my brow bone highlight. It's really not light enough for me, though. But there's really nothing I can do about it. You're there anyway. My St. Bernard puppy, his name is George. <laughs> That's cute. Imagine that. We all know someone by the very common name George. That's crazy. As far as my mother would say, I don't feed the trolls. What? That's not fair. I didn't get to read it all. Ooh. That is so pretty. 
gosh, that shade is so interesting. Because it's it's pink, but it's yellow. Like down here, it's straight pink. It's just a pink shimmer. But up here, it's a yellow shimmer. And I don't understand how. As my mother would say, don't feed the trolls, and they all go somewhere else to find bread. <laughs> well, see, I don't know. I've always been like a excessive lover when I hurt or when I turn my negatives into positives so that I can deal with them because I can't deal if I don't. So that's like my coping mechanism. Love is my coping mechanism. Your dad's name is George. <laughs> that's funny. Had a cat named George. She told me that about me and girls in high school. Brother-in-law's name is George. That's pretty cool, Jules. <laughs> Danielle, I can't believe you missed Tamika too. Is she still here? I have a little hair in my brush. I really, really love this shade. I'm kind of obsessed with it. I wish it was a little bit lighter, though. It's very shimmery. It's capturing light and doing what it's supposed to do based on that. But I wish it was like a lighter color. Like a white. A white would have been good. Maybe a white would have been a little much, but... I'm also going to put it right here. This is the part that's going to end up getting uh, covered up with a concealer anyway. So I'm not too worried about right here yet. Just kind of want to build it there for now. Okay, so that's done. You were shopping the Profusion website. You left me for, for Profusion? How dare you? Time out for five minutes. I feel like it's been more than five minutes. Let me see. Can I see who's here? Why can't I see who's here? Do I not have that authoritarian? Oh, participants. Okay, I do have that authoritarian. Um, oh, she's gone. I'll miss you, Tamika. If you watch later, thanks <laughs> for the view. Maybe the comment will suggest to her friends. <laughs> Probably did. <laughs> I feel like maybe I just need to go back in with the Morphe M456 that I used with the purple shade and just clean up the glittery mess that I made with the shimmer tones. I didn't realize it was so chunky. But that deeper shade was a lot more chunky. You're going to need to figure out that authority. <laughs> uh, fine, huh? It's on the little, um, the three dots thing uh, by live chat. But I go live on my computer. Well, yeah, I go live on my computer because I use my DSLR camera. And the computer gives you, like, tons of scary options. And I have to use, like, a separate program to be able to use my camera it's funny because you guys aren't actually seeing what's on my camera or being displayed from my camera you're seeing what's being displayed from my monitor because I'm having to do a screen capture and broadcast the screen capture of the program that's reading my camera footage that's the only way it will work from a DSLR I'll have to check when I'm on my computer next time I was just typing, respect my authority. <laughs> well, then that's perfect. Wow, something is burning my eyes. Okay, let's see if this looks good after it's shaped. There we 
go. <clears throat> she battered. Oh, she better be rereading the Bible. I can't say that kind of people in the Christian community. I know, right? Well, honestly, though, the only difference her comment made was giving me another comment on a live, which is engagement. So it counts. I feel like the more haters I get, the more successful I become. I need to make some videos with my DSLR that I got for Christmas. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do, for sure. You need to go live with your DSLR that you got for Christmas. If you have a PC, you can make it happen. I can send you the software on how to. It's free. It's just complicated. But I can send you the video that taught me as well. As long as you do exactly what the video says, it works just fine. You kind of have to tweak it a little bit. True, true. Yes, the more hate, the more fame. Mm-hmm. I live for the applause, applause, live for the applause, applause. Is that even? No. To go higher. Oh no, now it's even more not even. Dang it. Now I have to give it more of like a cat eye effect. I didn't want that. Mm. Well, it's done, it's done. Time to make both eyes more of a cat eye effect. Okay, fine, it's done. I don't have a Mac, they'll have a HP laptop. Good, because the program doesn't work on a Mac. That's perfect. I can't use my Mac for any of the live stuff. Unless I just want to use the webcam, which I don't. Webcams, not so great. Okay. Now, I have to pee. But I'm not going to yet. I at least need to squat. Show. Sure. I need to wet my sponge. Which I'm gonna do now. Whoa. And then I am going to use my Too Faced Hangover RX What I'm Alone spray. Mix it all up and throw it in the pan. Oh, you can tell I have a granddaughter. Having a lot of Facebook since I stopped using that one MLM makeup company. Oh, then you can tell them to drink some hater. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and hi, Martin. We need to go live so I can watch you go live. Am I super blurry to anybody else? Oh, no, never mind. I leaned back. I leaned back. Lean back. Um, by the way, I want to just let everyone know something. This is just kind of a general disclaimer to the masses and all the friends in the world. Hold on, let me squeeze out the excess from my sponge and I'll show you. Puppy. I like it. Okay, so to those of you who use sponges, if you don't, you know, like submerge them in water and wet them, and you just spray them, 
I'm just going to give you a little tip on how to spray them. And I hope this helps some of you not waste the product. Because some people that I watch on YouTube that are creators spray sponges like this to wet them. Do you see all of the product that's like around here? Like I barely sprayed anything on there. Hey, babe! So if you just take the spray nozzle and spray in it, absolutely zero waste. Nada, none, zilch, zap. <laughs> I do love it. Just like Mark loves it when you call him Big Pop. <laughs> Jason Derulo has posted a new video to TikTok, just so everyone knows. So now I've gotten the sponge wet, and I didn't waste any spray, except for the three sprays that I wasted by showing you how not to waste it. But you get the point. So, spray your sprays directly in your sponges if you don't want to waste product. If you do want to waste product, I don't care. Then go ahead. Let's see if this blur stick works, because I don't remember it. I know the milk blur stick gave me a little bit of a problem because I couldn't get the, like, stick itself to fill in my nose pores, which is a problem for me because I don't like my pores to show once my makeup is applied. But if that is the case, then I will just scrape off some of it and like squish it into my nose. Me, it looks like it's doing okay though. Are you back home, babe? Or are you still down there with Madeline? Or is she watching me right now? I heard leaf barking, so I'm assuming either your home or someone's here. Oh, I would love the day whenever I can just be like, okay, now I'm going to use my Botox from Facial Aesthetics. And then I'm going to pair that with my filler from e.l.f. Okay, well, welcome home, babe. Okay, now I have that applied everywhere. I'm just going to blend that in with my fingers. Sorry, I have to clean up my mess here because I'm making a mess. It's very messy. So I heard an interesting thing for people with oily noses. Use an eye primer on your nose since your eyelids just fills the oils. Good idea. I like that. That's very smart. Which, same thing can apply to a concealer because a concealer is also meant to help with, well, most concealers are meant to help with oiliness because they go right around your eye area. And usually, there's moisture associated with eyes, and concealers are meant to help that too. That's awesome. I really like that tip. She's so adorable. Something I want to try... Well, no, not with the Jelly Pop primer. Never mind. I was going to say I wanted to try putting powder on my nose to see if that also helps. Because I've heard of that helping with getting the foundation to stick. I don't want to put it everywhere. But I'm going to use the Jelly Pop primer and it's very... Jelly-y. So I don't want to mix it with the powder. 
This stuff is really sticky though, and it really does help the foundation stick to the skin. It has been so hard for me lately to not use that Mark, I mean, no, oops, that Tom Ford foundation every single time I do my makeup though. I really, really love it. It is currently my favorite foundation. Oh, I would bet all the stress. Formula 10.0.6 sent me a bunch of skincare products. Christopher, my stepbrother came out and my parents sent him to a camp that will change him and make him normal. Oh, Tamika. Well, um... I hope that your stepbrother was capable of making him his own decision and that he wasn't forced into something like that because that's really rude and not fair to anyone. You're helping me? Hmm. Right, how is changing someone helpful? If they don't ask you for help, then you shouldn't be doing anything about it. Because it's not up to you, unfortunately. Sorry. Yeah. You know, instead of coming up with reasons why something is wrong with me, or with anyone, why not look for something that you can share in common? Like, do you like makeup? Do you like mascara? Do you like eyeshadow? If not, you have no reason to be here. Differin gel helps a tone with acne. Huh. i got to remember that. I've been using... Mark has this, um, like, prescription pain cream. Or no, not pain cream. What is it, babe? I forgot what it is. Um, I use it whenever my acne is, like... Well, like, if I have razor burn or... Um, any kind of inflammation. Use it on that, and... It, Literally within hours, redness is gone completely. Aw, I'm sad too. I didn't want her to be gone yet. Or wait, did she leave or just get muted? Shoving beliefs on someone's throat doesn't help them. It, yeah, no, it actually makes them worse, usually. Wrench wielding responsibilities very seriously. <laughs> Ruth, I'm glad you do. How's it helping? You need God more than ever, Tamika. Agreed, because God doesn't say the things that Tamika has said. At least not in the New Testament. More <laughs> open discussion of not being forceful. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, anti-inflammatory. Inf anti Hi, Iris! Wow, I didn't realize this brush was this amazing for this primer. I just thought it would be a good idea to help me spread it, but it's like really good. Muted her, we'll let her stay a while next time, and then we'll put her on timeout. <laughs> Works for me. Is she still here? Yes, Tamika is still here. Well, Tamika, I have my own relationship with God, and that is 150 million percent none of your business. As your relationship with God is none of my business. I respect that for you, and I love that for you. And you be who you want to be, and you... 
can have your own discussion with him at the gates when it's time, just like I will. And if you believe I won't, then you let me have that discussion with that person at that time. But it is not up to you. Ever. Nor will it ever be. With this mighty wrench, Ruth shall smite you. <laughs> Lost internet storming, be safe and be well. Oh, okay, bye. If you can still see in here. Bye, Lois. Oh, Lois, sorry. Exactly. Between me and God. God and I. Because thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Storm is past me in Georgia. Oh, okay, good. It's not raining outside anymore. I don't hear it happening anymore, so that's good. <clears throat> I think she may have been saying her parents thought they were making him normal by sending him to a camp. Yeah, she was. She was uh, letting us know that that's how they were helping him. <clears throat> you know, for being just a kid... That's the belief that's been probably ingrained at this point. Which, you know, it's sad, but that's the way it is. <clears throat> Bill is saying, well, I'm getting some cleaning done. Just want to say I love you. I love you. Aw, well, thank you. And I love you, too. Just try and remember that it's not always their fault, you know? She probably doesn't even know any better. Or different. <laughs> yes. For the Bible tells me so. I made a really, really fun, um, like, snow globe kind of thing for, um, full of water and a whale. Whenever I was in Bible school one week, it was like, we were having like some kind of special event. I don't remember what it was. People came from all over, and we got to do a bunch of arts and crafts. It was so fun. Hmm, this shade is a little weird. Made of sugar. <laughs> Let's say Rice Krispies, because I eat enough of it, we know. <laughs> I can hear him on the phone right now, so he's not watching. But you know that he probably wouldn't confirm. He's probably going to say something like, yeah, with salt, because he's so tart. Or something along those lines. Am I really blurry on screen? I'll let you know when he gets off the phone. He has the volume turned up on his phone so I can hear when he's watching. And I think I might have left the door open a little bit because I can hear him like pretty clear. It's funny though, from down here, while he's laying in bed, which... Our house is weird with this room that I'm in. This room connects to outside, but it's the only room downstairs. It, this is the epitome of downstairs. Or not the epitome of. This is the extent of downstairs. You can only access this room from either outside or from... It was Vacation Bible School. Thank you. Um, or from... Our bedroom. That's the only way to access this. The previous owner of this house was a dog groomer, and this was their dog grooming room before. And, um, yeah, that's what this room is. So, 
Why was I saying that? What was the point? Oh, oh yeah. So, with this being connected here, it's so funny because I can hear everything that he says and does, even when he whispers. We tested it. But he can't hear anything from me. My brother did not have a choice in the matter of being sent off to a conversion camp, but he will thank us when he returns because I know what's right and wrong and your lifestyle is not okay. You don't know anything about my lifestyle. At all. I like makeup, but I don't like men wearing makeup. Okay, so that's your opinion. I'm just curious what what makes you think that you have a right to tell me what's right or wrong? I just, I truly underst- want to understand what, what in your head makes you believe that. That you have any more correctness or that you know, you know? What gives you the power of judging anyone? Yeah, right. Or... They're not hurting you at all because of the choices haven't hurt me. Yeah, exactly. God gets to decide they're not you. Exactly. To me, you need to reread the Bible. It's God's job to judge. Yes, exactly. Reread the Bible. That would help. You're going around judging people. No, okay, they made you judge. Between God and him. Men wore makeup in the 18th century France. Yeah, men have always wore makeup. <laughs> it's not a new thing. Exactly. Men have worn makeup longer than women have worn makeup, actually. <laughs> Makeup is just a tool to play with color. Without saying you cast the first stone, I'm going to bet you are not without sin. Yeah. My brother's 15. He can't have a choice. You didn't make any choices for yourself when you were 15? Yeah, Tamika, you make a choice every day. You choose to get out of bed. You choose what to have for breakfast. You can make your own choices. Maybe if your parents did the same, you would not be this way now. Yeah. Christopher is not your brother. Please believe you're not welcome here. Just know, Tamika, and maybe take this into your own life and future one day, that if I wanted your opinion, or even your help for that matter, I know you probably believe that what you're saying is helpful to me, but if I want it, I would ask you, I would, I would beg for you to help me if I felt like I had a problem and needed it. I would, but I don't. And probably nine times out of ten, nobody else, including your brother, does either. She goes to Fry Hills, men more than first. Ah, he's a grown man, and he can make his own life choices, and he doesn't need cycles like you. James, so very unjustly. I'm a Christian, and I really don't think you understand Jesus, do you? You're the same and normal. The same? But you are saying what is normal. You don't know what normal is. I don't want to hurt your feelings, but I want to save you. Well, you're not saving me. You're judging me. That's all you're doing. You're unjustly and unfairly judging when you have no clue. <clears throat> once you read the Bible yourself, and maybe once you grow a little older, because I, I'm beginning to think that you're very young and very shaped by different people. That was beautiful, Alex. Yeah, you don't get to decide what is sin. That's exactly correct. Okay, well, Tamika, honey, um, since you obviously just feel the need to judge, and that's all, perhaps I think, maybe it's best you go to another life. Or maybe go watch a different video, one that you're interested in. You're 20? Oh, man. Bummer. Well, I hope maybe your kids are a little more open.
Exposes only on where you pass judgment on those who practice such. Means if you listen to yourself, that you escape judgment of God. Agreed, Daniel. Very young. Don't judge so you not be judged. This is not a place for you to come and criticize. This is a makeup channel. Oh, that's really sweet, Iris. Thank you. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Thanks, Ruth. I just feel bad for your brother. <gasps> Berkey! Hello! How are you today? Yes, please pray for Tamika. It just sucks, because, you know, guys, forget the troll aspect. But, like, Tamika believes this, you know? It's what's in her heart. And that's sad. That really sucks. For a lot of people. Love you too. Nope. She didn't stop judging. All she had to do was just not judge for, what, two minutes? But poor Tamika just can't quit judging. I know. He's never going to be the same, and not in a good way. <laughs> it's really sad for him. <laughs> Alex, I know, I liked that. <laughs> I liked your, um, your true education. She does need to reread the Bible. Maybe, uh, focus on more of the important things. Yeah, it is really sad to stifle the truth of someone, everything they are, who they are. That is sad, and it sucks. But you know, everything happens for a reason. You grow, you learn, you become who you are. Yeah, I feel bad for her brother, too. I lost my concealer. Oh. <laughs> now, I have a feeling this concealer is probably going to be really, really light on me, but I didn't want to go with the medium one because the shade range goes from, like, light, light to, like, I don't know. Mid light. God loves all his children. Yes, he does. And it's funny that the quote of my lifestyle is going to uh, condemn me. So... Me, chilling at home, watching Netflix, playing with paint for my face. That condemns me to hell. What is the point? It's exactly right. We don't have to go for the time of day. I just, I feel so bad for her. I really do. Because <sighs> she has no chance now. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is going to be a highlighting shade. Because the undertone is very off. Yeah, right? Agreed.
My gosh. Mm, I think I'm going to use this as like a highlighter. Oh no, wait, I have a highlighter on the Wet n Wild stick. Never mind. I know because that's what we shoot. I was using God as her shield makes me angry. Yeah. Just because that's what she was taught. It's so true though because like in her heart of hearts, that's what she believes. You're right, all we can do is pray for her. It just sucks, because that means there was somebody or somebodies that believe exactly that and are teaching that. No, I don't want to use this. Why do I keep doing that? Oh my gosh. I keep wanting to use this as like my exact highlight shade when I have one. I do though want to use it on the side of my nose. I'm just going to kind of stamp it there instead of dragging it. There we go. Oh, powder! Oh my gosh, I never got a powder. So let me cap this one. And... Oh man, drugstore. I have my Maybelline Fit Me loose powder, but it's like, it's light medium, but it's dark. It's a dark light medium. The only other one I have is, well, that one's Makeup Revolution. I can't use that one. Oh, Wet n Wild. Oh, I didn't realize I had that. Yay. Yeah, I do too. I feel sad also. Just because that's the norm for her now. That's what it's going to be forever for her. Ugh, what a waste. What a waste of a life. And, ugh, just never mind. Let's done this done. Okay. That doesn't look like a contour shade. We are family. Yeah. I got all my sisters with me. You know, whenever I was in choir in high school, we did a mashup with that song in it, and it was so fun. I don't know if I, I don't, I'm pretty sure I don't remember all the different versions that we sang, but it was fun. We are family. Just take those old records off the shelf. I sit and listen to them by myself. Today's music ain't got the same soul. I like that old time of rock and roll. Still like that old time of rock and roll. The kind of music just soothes us all. I reminisce about the days of old. With that old time of rock and roll. Oh, it was a blast from the past. Or blast through the past. So it was like all different songs from different eras. And it was actually really fun. Oh man, I miss the choir days. Those were some good days. So about the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation the other week, I was going through the list of products used listed and decided to get something from it. Bah ha 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 Well, that's cool. Who is this Mark McFarland guy? Ever since talking to Tamika, I feel like a new man. I don't know. Something is different about me, you know? I feel changed. Some sort. What is the stuff on my face? Am I getting ready for a clown gig or something? So that uh, deepening shade was not deep enough. So I need this Wet n Wild stick. This is the contour stick. It should be deep enough though. The other one was kind of red. Oh yeah. There we go. 
Um, Tamika was just giving her thoughts and opinions on, you know, normal things that other people judge, like someone else's life. And that my lifestyle is going to condemn me. So, I guess we can't watch Netflix anymore. I guess I can't play Xbox anymore. Um, because all those things are condemning. Oh, -ho! now your boyfriend can move in. Okay, okay. I see you. Well, I hope you enjoy. And I will send you a postcard from L.A. Yeah, right? There's no escaping the wrath of Mark. Okay, now normally I would just... Well, I guess I'm still going to. No, I'm not. Yeah, I am. I'm going to take the other side of my sponge and blend out my conchquila. Oh, crap. But first, but first... I need to get my powder ready because I know this uh, blending is going to go pretty quick. Wait, what am I doing? I need to... Uh, I need to put on the cream blush and highlighter too that I almost forgot about. So I guess I'm just going to blend it out, then do the highlighter and blush. Then I'll set it. Okay, that works. So, I'll blend the contour first with the flat. Nope. I need to do the blush. I mean, uh, concealer first. I'm just thinking out loud, apparently, and not able to make up my mind. Okay, see you soon, Cora. But first, let me take a selfie. Yes, Tamika? <laughs> okay. Wow, that was a really good highlighting shade. And it actually covered up the dark circle, which is a big deal because I got some dark, dark circles. As most of you know already. It just sucks that there is nothing skincare wise that can do anything about it because they're so, it's like hereditary dark circles. It's not like tired dark circles or like, I don't know, any kind of condition or anything. It's just dark circles. She just said Chris. So right, a Ruth is like a school principal. She could take it to church, yeah.
Man, I hope this blends out. I feel like I might have waited a little long. I'm trying to use the point though to make or the well, it's kind of a point. Whatever that is on the side. I'm trying to use that and still keep some control of the product. But it's kind of difficult to use this as a tool to do it with. I'm used to using my duo fiber brush for cream bronzer, which is beautiful for cream bronzer. I mean, it's it is the perfect tool to use for clean cream bronzer. But this is working fine. It's just not what I prefer. Can I just cyber guard? <laughs> Ruth the Cyber Principal. That could be like your, your hacker name, your code name. Guys, did you see how many people the principal banned? <laughs> hey Ruth, but I got one done today. Weren't you so proud of me? I typed out a whole description. Luckily... Everything I used was from one brand. <laughs> that's why it was so easy to do, and that's why I picked that one. I just copied and pasted Dalton Beauty over and over and over again. It was so easy. Finished it on the toilet. Wow, this is really beautiful. I don't even know if she's still here, honestly. Did you buy or are you buying? You know, I considered that. I saw that I was proud and bummed that I'm so behind that you had to do it yourself. <laughs> well, don't worry. It's my job to do it by myself. It should have been done a long time ago, like whenever the video was done, honestly. So, don't worry. Um, the Selena Mac collection. I I really thought about it. I'm still thinking about it. I was thinking about um, ordering a couple of each, like the palette, and then maybe two lips, two blushes, and two bronzers. Or no, one bronzer. Wait, did I have the bronzer? I don't remember. I was considering it. It's just really expensive, and I'm trying to budget appropriately so that I can continue my channel reviews while still being able to live until I can, you know, survive again or make money again. Here she is, and she so much as says anything, she's back to timeout. <laughs> yeah, no judgment. Now, if she says something like, oh, I love that shade, or like, what powder did you use? Then that's fine. <laughs> yeah, right, babe? If the novel does get typed out, let me read it first, before the delete happens. Oh, wait, no, never mind. I can still read it after that. I forgot. It's It lets me, like, unhide it long enough to read it. I am so glad that I went in with that highlight shade because that too dark concealer, I mean, um, foundation. I don't know if it's too dark necessarily, but the two, um, the two yellow, yeah, okay. The two yellow foundation really needed something to kind of help it. I like that a lot. <clears throat> Very true. I'm so glad it's on Afterpay. I have bits of the last collection. I've never gotten the Max Selena collection. That's why I kind of want to get this one. Because I think it would be worth the review of it. That's the only time I really buy full collections. Is whenever I think it's going to be worth the review. 
Just the whole thing's like three hundred dollars, so I obviously wouldn't be able to get the whole thing. Cause I'm also trying to get the new ColourPop Ulta collection, the the Star one or the Astrological one or whatever, as well as the um. <gasps> Hi, Granny. Been loving all of your uploads lately, by the way. Um, but as well as the new Fenty launch. So excited about the new Fenty launch. Okay, let's see what this clean, fresh, ripe and ready cream blush looks like. I think I'm going to take some on a blush brush just so I have a little more control over it rather than with my finger. I just don't want to take a chance, you know? I have the three lippies and had the blush bronzer duo only make up one for the longest. Oh wow, that's impressive. <gasps> oh wow, it's almost shimmery looking. Man, see. I guess let's see how it goes on. Well, I'm going to try to get it. Is it still on pre-order right now? Or did they move it to actual order now? I wish I could afford to get all of them. Like each product from the collection. Wow, this blush is really, really pretty with this. Are you a bit sick? Um, not really, but I haven't, like, I've been super lazy, and I haven't been recording a whole lot lately. So, well, if this is why you're saying it, I think, but um, my voice is getting hoarse from talking so much. So it sounds like I'm... Kind of becoming sick. But no, I'm not. I'm Mexican, so I grew up with Selena as my idol. I'm not. But Selena has a special place in my heart because one of my first girlfriends ever um, had Selena. And I watched it for the first time at her house. And we watched it over and over and over again. And Selena was like my first girlfriend, you know? It would be nice if they would just hurry up and put you on the PR list. <sighs> uh, maybe one day. You never know. I don't feel like that was enough blush, and I don't feel like it blended in very well. Because it didn't. Yeah, it's completely separated from the rest of the products on my face. So we're going to try that again. I'm going to put more on. I'm going to blend it up again. By the way, loved your interview. I watched it. Oh, oh, the Matthias for makeup. Thank you. That was so fun. Hey, weird color guy. It was weird because I've never been in a position where I was interviewed before like that. So I, I don't know. I was super, super nervous. Because I just didn't really know what to expect. But it was it was fun. I had fun with that. I'm ready to see the YouTube video of it. Because I'm ready to see just kind of... I don't know. What, the, what it was like. I want to watch it. And see how awkward I was. Because I feel like I was really awkward. No, it did not blend well at all. I think the problem, or part of the problem also, is the fact that I am using the brush instead of my fingers, because I think the product would warm up enough that it would start really melting in if I did do that. But, you know, too little, too late. So I'm going to take the bronzery side of the sponge over here. I know this looks ridiculous right now, but just give me time. And I'm going to start meshing in the bronzing shade 
Like, I was just thinking about how the Blending Beauties had their battle unicorns at the ready. <laughs> we always have our battle unicorns at the ready. We will absolutely kill them with kindness, because that's who we are. That's who I am. I am actually Rosemary's granddaughter. Spinning image of my father. And when the day is done, my mama is still my biggest fan. I could have said I'm lovely, but I got friends who love me, you know? And they, they know just who I am. It's all a part of me. That's who I am. Okay, so now, really quick, I'm going to take my um, Wet n Wild Natural Spray. I need to kind of re-wet this blush a little bit. I'm just going to go right here. Oh, it's starting to get weird. I can feel it. It's breaking down. Breaking down! I'm going to take the um, foundation side and just start. Cora, you got me! Ugh. I don't know if I like this blush. Wait, hold on. Let me not speak too soon. It was looking really, really muddy just a second ago. But I feel like we're getting somewhere now. Whoa, not close up. That is, that's good. Okay, so I just need to keep doing this. That's all. Yes. Okay, good. In case not everyone got it. Um, I got friends who love me, and they know just who I am. It's all a part of me. That's who I am. No! Blend out! Okay, fine. You know what? No, 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 no. I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna go. Where is it? Oh, there it is. I feel like I blended out a little bit too much anyway, so I'm gonna use some squeezer. Come on. Take your little. There you are. And go right here. Again. And right here. And right here, and right here, and right here, and right here. Bootyful. Babe, you're exactly right. What is that thing you are using? I am, for the blush, I'm using the um, CoverGirl Clean Fresh Blush. It's in the shade Ripe and Ready. But I didn't know, I love Mark too. It is making my cheeks look bruised. Then according to the rainbow, you're next to me. Mine is Purple Hollow. <laughs> That's so cute. But I'm hoping this is going to fix that. Not only is it going to help the coverage build up a little more, which I was going to do anyway, but I was going to wait to add more until I blended out all the blush, but I feel like now I definitely need to add it while the blush is there so that I can kind of cover it up. And then I'll kind of work on the blend between them because it's definitely muddying things up. I can still see it. That's disgusting. Why are you there? Go away. I'm so glad I didn't set this yet. Foundation again. Oh, wait. Foundation again. Let's just have extra coverage, shall we?
It actually looks kind of good on this side. Chris, if you promise me that you will stay celibate and never sexually found about the same gender, then I do believe you can be saved. Um, Tamika, I have a husband that I've been with for nine years. I hope you have a relationship that long, and I hope you can, I don't know, find love in this world from someone that won't judge you the way you judge people. I'm sorry, but you have to leave now, and you can't come back. I appreciate you looking out for me, though, and I just really hope that you, you know, find someone that can love you. Let's see. What else can I do to you? <clears throat> okay. I finally have that hidden. <laughs> if I promise you to be celibate, that's not going to happen. <laughs> Welcome, Liv. You did. Yeah, but I have to do it from like I have to leave and do it. So right now, I'm just hiding her from public view. It's a temporary solution. Yeah, I can block. I just have to do it from a different place. So I'll just do it after the live. I'm going to try to use that blush again, but in a different way. Like... Pretty much I'm just going to use what's on the brush already and build it up lightly and see if maybe that will work. Because I don't know why it did that the last time. Surely that's not the way it looks every time and normally. I don't like that. I'm really surprised I was able to cover it up though. Yeah, she's driving me nuts, too. It's just so sad. I feel so bad for her. It's just wasteful. She could have gone to do something great. She hadn't been ruined. Okay, that's fine, Ruth. Now, I'm going to be covering up this blush. Well, I'm going to be... Oh god, babe. <laughs> okay. User is unhidden. Honestly, I don't mind. It doesn't bother me because... Grain of salt. You know, whatever. I've been... Attempted to be turned, I guess, is the wording for that, before. Except the other judgmental people that I talked to actually ended up apologizing to me in the end and said that they understood me a little bit better, and that after our conversation, they were going to start looking at things a little bit differently. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely. 
I know. It is sad. It really is sad. I like this. This is building up really nicely now. This looks good. <laughs> when I grow up, I want to be an internet troll for Jesus. I like that. That's cute. Okay, getting the wet and wild powder ready now. Oh, I need a little bit more. No, no, that's good. Okay. Here we go. See, that blush is actually really pretty now. I like this. This is good. Oh, wait. I can't set that. What am I doing? I didn't um, contour again. <laughs> yeah, that's when you know it's over. I honestly just hope that her brother can forgive her later. Because to not know any better and to agree with the people that put your brother away to try and change him and mess him up for his entire life, he's never going to be the same. And not in a good way. And I just hope that maybe... She and her brother can find some semblance of at least a friendship. Because siblings, you know, you only get what you get. And it would suck to lose that. I love Jesus, but I cuss a little and have a boyfriend. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that would be an awesome sweatshirt. I need to stop smiling, at least until I can set this. Uh, Cora, you're never not sassy. Sassy, 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 so sassy. Okay, here we go. Wow, that was pretty creasy. Oh, that's perfect. And now the forehead. Going all about make. Oh. Going all about makeup. I know it costs a lot. <laughs> God teaches love and not judgment. I think she needs to look at God for some guidance. I agree. I was waiting for Mark to make a comment on the cost. <laughs> you know it. Hello, Deb. Where about how go? Oh, there it is. Mark needs to stick to the cheap stuff. What about me? No! Mark, is there one love you haven't said that in? <laughs> Yes, I did use Wet n Wild contour stick. And, oh, I was going to use a Wet n Wild um, jelly highlighter, but too little too late because I forgot. And it's too late now. I did, however, forget that I wanted to... I saw somebody else doing this where they set their nose, but just, like, right down the center, and I want to try that. That was not just down the center. And it's falling everywhere. Okay, fine. No, 
My debit card cries every time one of you hook up Chris and I do something you buy. <laughs> Don't worry, mine does too. It's going to cry whenever that Selena collection comes out, that's for sure. There we go. Now I'm set. Aw, thank you. Thank you for being a friend. Travel down the road and back again. Bacon, bacon, bacon. Yes, we are bacon, bacon. Bacon. I really appreciate you, Granny. You know what? I'm about to use Wet n Wild again, too. Because I'm going to use the Wet n Wild pressed powder. I'm trying not to emote right now. Because, you know. I had to remind him of a sale, but the products were $1 looking out for your card. <laughs> you know what's funny about that, though, Cora, is that I wasn't even considering buying those until you told me about the sale that I had forgotten about. So technically, When Wild is awesome. Um, I actually built a cart on Shop Miss A because I think I want to do a full face of Shop Miss A products since they're all like, well, if you don't donate to charity, they're a dollar. But if you do donate to charity, it's a dollar eighty eight. But I got pretty much a full face of products for like thirty two dollars, thirty one or thirty two dollars. <laughs> You're right, Cora. I did need more glitters. I did. Babe, it's true. I did need more glitters. I didn't have enough to be able to match every look I wanted to create. <laughs> Shop Miss A does seem awesome. I've never tried any of their products, so I'm excited to place my $31 order soon. Oh, Liv, I'm so sorry. I wish you did. You love their brushes? I I put some in my cart, but then I deleted them out once I added some more stuff, so I feel like maybe I shouldn't. I got one of their sponges, though. It's okay. I have all of his email addresses and DMs. You can't get rid of me. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Ruth. You have me everywhere. I let her bon bon. Huh. I'll have to remember that. The whole sparkle rainbow. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh yeah, true. She does have our address. That's so funny. Yeah, Shop Miss A does seem really good. I can't wait to try it. Oh yeah, we've been friends for a while. Okay, now time for under. Not with that brush, though. I don't want to use that brush. It's not firm enough. I'm going to use this one. Well, you have to because you got to manage my PR correspondences. you got to manage my... Um, direct shipments. you got to manage my Instagram posts. Because it will turn on you don't have to reset it every time. Well, I could imagine that that would be a luxury 
Jeez. You dang right I do. You guys are making me want to place my order now. But I gotta place my color pop or my Ulta order for the new color pop collection and the Sephora order for the new Hourglass stuff whenever it launches, if it ever launches. It already did on Hourglass's website. I don't know why it's not on Sephora. I might just have to buy it from um, Hourglass. That blush is so shimmery. I can still see the shimmer right here from where that blush was, like, pretty much caked up, essentially. Oh, my skin is so, so tight. I love it. Need to get the translucent powder again? It's nice. My skin looks good, that's for sure. Before I spray it, though, I'm going to go ahead and go in with... These three things, the L'Oreal Lumi Bronzant, the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette, and the Maybelline Master Blush. I think I'm going to use the Deep Purple shade, because that's pretty much what the shade of the CoverGirl one was, but the CoverGirl one was gross. Use, it's not gross if you use just a little bit. Hourglass is fancy schmancy, but they just launched a setting spray and a um, primer. And I was, it said that they were going to launch on the 17th, both on Hourglass website and Sephora website, but they're still not on Sephora's website. And I had stuff that I was ordering at the same time, the new Fenty cream bronzer and blush, and those just came out. So I want to get the review out fast, so I can't really wait. So I went ahead and placed the order for the cream bronzer and blush but not the um, Hourglass stuff, because it's not there yet. So I'm hoping that they can get it so I can get it for the 20% off with VIB sale. But if not, I guess I'm just going to have to get it off of Hourglass's website instead. Yeah, it's pretty pricey, but I'm planning a video. It was actually Mark's idea. Um, of half face luxury, half face drugstore, and like a competition, you know, between the two, compare sides. And um, the setting spray would help me on the luxury side. or primer. I've got their foundation. That's the only hourglass product I have. I think maybe I got a sample of something from them at the same time, but I don't remember what it was. Oh, that's awesome. What a good friend getting you an hourglass product. I got their foundation because it was like so many creators were talking about it. Where's Tamika? I don't know. I don't know if she's still here. Tamika, honey, sweetie pie, are you still here? Let's see. We'll check our participants. Oh, no. Tamika's gone. Maybe soon, though. Maybe we'll see her soon. I'm I'm kind of starting to miss her. <laughs> it could be Ruth. Her parents sound kind of strict.
Yeah, probably so. I hope it's for me, because I sure would like to get out of these sinful ways. That blush was sinful, I know that. Yay, I get to use that new brush from the James Charles collection. If I can find it. For my nose contour. Yay, there it is. Okay, what is this? The Morphe E62 brush. And I'm going to use the Lumi bronzer. Ooh, probably a bad idea. It's going to make... Oh, sorry, my nose shiny. This way. She knows I will smack her with the timeout wrench if she much says a peep. <laughs> yeah, right. Suppose I could help with that. Help with what? Praying? This is so weird. I'm so used to using a flat brush to do this. Oh, ha <laughs> ha. Um. I probably wouldn't be able to stop praying for forgiveness for my sinful ways. After all, I am gay. No, I should have been like, honey, I'm not gay. I just like makeup. Are you saying that you think everybody that likes makeup is gay? I just like wearing it. I love women. Oh, man, I'm so mad that I wasn't like that. Dang it. That could have been so good. Looks like dog collar has clergy slang. <laughs> or a tab, the back button. Dog is hard with my arthritis. I would imagine. Ugh, my foundation started moving on top of my nose. I knew it. I knew that was going to happen. Oh, yeah, Ruth. Or, no, sorry. Um, Liv. It does. It definitely means you're gay if you like makeup. So, sorry, Liv. You're a homo. Sorry. I know it sucks. It's just the way it is. Get used to it. It's a bummer. Man. Okay, wet and wild. Contour. Um. So you only like makeup and not boys? I guess I'll pack my bags. I knew something was up. <laughs> I mean, I'll take, you know, whatever I can get. So I'm using the contour shade with the bronzer brush. Because I can. Why would you feel sorry for my brother? He chose his lifestyle choice and this is what he gets. I am still in shock that you're married to another man. Um, I feel sorry for your brother because... He has no choice to be who he wants. And that's sad. That's really sad. I feel so bad for him. I just hope that you can have some kind of relationship with him. 
Hey, Skittles. Well, thanks for jumping in on a live with us. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, hold on, Ruth. Let her let her get one more comment out. I want to see what the next one is. You're so right, weird caller. Trust me, I tried to choose whenever I thought it was wrong from people like you, Tamika. Then I theologically, <laughs> yeah, I like it. Uh, what happened? Uh, well, what hasn't happened, honestly? Bye, Tamika. Been nice talking to ya. See you in five minutes. What sad is her actions on here? Yeah, right? It's like she can't not judge. She can't just be nice, you know? Just be accepting. Just move on. At the end of the day, I know that your lifestyle is wrong. I was born and raised to know what's right and wrong, and you can't and might never see it, and that is sad. Tamika, you've been taught your version of right and wrong. You don't know. You're just guessing. <laughs> Ruth, you're so funny. Tamika, at this point, your entertainment value for my friends. That's about as far as your judgment is getting. I know, right? Tamika, I'm sure you're not a saint. Unfortunately. Where's my blush brush? Speaking of not being a saint, neither is that blush. But this one might be. So I'm going to try the deeper purple one here. Do these have a shade name? No. No shade names. It says it has a multifaceted glow. Ruth whipped out the wrench. <laughs> yes, she did. Also, This is really deep. I'm kind of scared of it. As a professional. I don't want to ever judge anyone's devoutness. That's a, a freedom to individuals. But passing that on to other people is not good. Oh gosh, we're gonna use this. Uh. Yay, it's not too bad. It's actually kind of pretty. Yeah. I just hope that those beliefs are only the beliefs of her parents and herself and not the entire congregation. Because that's even more people. It's just 2020, you know? But if Tamika does believe that strongly about it, then I hope that when she does wrong that she gets stoned by her parents because that's only fair. Oh, thank you, Skittles.
feel like the blush is now kind of matching the shadow. There is still this like muddy weirdness that was right here from the CoverGirl blush. It got really muddy gross. Oh no, we know it's not all Christians. Just those types of Christians. Yeah, there are definitely types of people that take parts of things they want to use and leave out the other parts because it's convenient for them. Like Tamika, you know, man shall not lie with another man and um, was it children should be stoned when they do wrong or women should be stoned when they do wrong? No, it was children. Children should be stoned when they do wrong. You want to talk about muddy weirdness? I have the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Bronzer. It drinks Bud Light. <laughs> I know. You're only not sinning if you drink Bud Platinum. Platinum's the best. I need to try that bronzer. You're going to be that strict, except the whole book. I think there's something in there about wearing mixed fibers and clothing being a sin. We're all sinners. Yeah, right. Yes, definitely. To the boiler room with you, Mark. <laughs> you drink Bud Light blasphemy. <laughs> no, we love our Bud Platinum. That's what we love. Besides, Platinum has the highest alcohol content out of all the Buds. Mm-hmm, he loves his wine. These things can be dealt with, but Eliza. <laughs> the Old Testament says to take your children to the edge of town and stone them. Believe me, my ex-husband's family threatened their children with that. Oh, no, it's women, Chris. Dealt with, that's right, it's not like... <laughs> oh my gosh. Bud, why? Sir. I like sweet wine, too. Like Moscato. Love me some Moscato. Okay. So now that I have finished with... <laughs> oh, my God. That's funny. Okay, Cora. Yeah, right? Even Jesus drank wine. Um, now that I've finished the bronzing and contouring. I'm going to go ahead and spray my face once more with the... Uh, I'm going to try with the Wet n Wild Natural. I don't know if it's going to work though. Work though. And then the Juvia's Place Highlighter. Next. <laughs> no, I haven't, but I keep hearing about them a lot lately. I don't know why lately specifically, but definitely have, and it makes me want one. Oh, and my Skittles, that's awesome. Okay, now the Juvia's Place. This one is the Tribe Highlighter. I'm going to use a bigger brush because I kind of want to blow this out. They taste funny. <laughs> that's the easy way out, Alex. Oh, I love 
this brush for highlighter. Yeah, people are going crazy. When are people not going crazy, though, you know? What a, what are they? I mean, is it a, a beer or what? Oh, good night, weird caller. Of course, you are always welcome. Wow. Love that. Now I'm going to use a little bit more of a targeted brush. Brush, brush. Probably just an eye blender brush. What's your brush? Um, the brush is the Luxie 522 Tapered Highlight Brush. I love this one because it has enough of a blowout to it that it lays it down everywhere on the high point of my brow bone, which, or my cheekbone, which I love. I'm gonna use just a fluffy blending brush and still the highlighter. And I'm gonna put it right up here. I'm be wanting some beer, and I'll be damned if it's not Sunday, and you can't buy liquor. Oh, <laughs> that sucks, babe. I'm sorry. You can have some of my uh, my Kahlua up there. Oh, 12%. Wow. Afternoon on Sundays. This is such a beautiful highlighter. I'm really, really liking this, like a lot. Oh, Tamika, my own father said after my brother came out, he would rather have a dead son than a gay one. This proves how disappointed my father was. Tamika, that's disgusting. And I hope you don't agree with that. That is literally disgusting. That's when you know that someone's judgment is bigger than their heart. Oh, that makes me sick. <laughs> Can't be jury to make a meet Ruth Ruth's time out. Right, she's gonna keep finding it. <laughs> That's so funny. I would rather have an open minded child than a sheltered one that takes pride in spreading hate. Mm hmm. Mr. Mary's comment, darn, but I think I'm glad I didn't see it. Tamika is not a vibe. No. She's just trying to take your thunder. Attention sinking. Shaking my head. Mm hmm. I didn't see it either. At the ready, I'm glad that I didn't. He read it out loud. Her dad is garbage, is basically what she said. She's just being. Trash. Yeah, she is just being trash. If she agrees with that, it's just disgusting. It is a sad excuse for a person. It's a sad excuse for a life. And it's going to be a lot better whenever that generation of people are gone from this earth. Mr. I look. Oh, it's a combo of two palettes. It's the Huda Nude Medium Palette and the Colored Rain Very Cute Palette. What color is your highlighter? It's like a... It's this color. It's like a champagne white kind of tone. It's really pretty.
Oh, uh, I was looking up how to just block, straight up block, so that we can just get rid of her, because, okay, you bring death into it and talk about that, that's, that's not okay, that's way past just innocent humor or it being fun anymore, that's sick, it's disgusting, but... We just hit her instead. <laughs> it's it's me watching this video and reading the comments. That's what's on the left. I do need some CXC in my life. She did go beyond acceptable. It just makes me think of my little brothers. And, I mean, they're both straight, but if they weren't and decided not to be, not going to wish death on them. They're my family. I'm going to always be there for them no matter what because that's what family is and that's what God would want of me. Yes, smite her. Well, she's hidden now. She won't show up again. Not for you guys, anyway. Mama Cora is everywhere. What are you talking about? Actually, Mark cut my hair. And he did an amazing job, too. Okay, now, I need to go over that highlighter just a little bit. Kind of tone it back some. And before I finish the rest of the makeup, we're going to finish off the lower lash line. Because it needs it. Went from overboard to plain horrible. Yeah, you're right. She did. It just blows my mind at how... Ugh. Just so gross. Some people are. Ugh. Okay. I need... Hey! I just did my giveaway unboxing. Guys, Maxine's crafty and stuff. She's the one who gave me all the giveaway stuff from Gerard Cosmetics. The unboxing I did at the beginning of the live. Skittles is stalking me. <laughs> Live stream with Cody J. Yes, I would love that. And I'm going to do that. We've talked about it. We just haven't finalized that yet. Okay, lower lash line. I gotta do it. So I'm gonna use the kind of the same tones that I did use, but pulled back a little bit. I'm gonna use the same Morpheum 456 that I used earlier with the shade Purple Berry and use that on my lower lash line first. Gonna have to trim around Kyle's ears. He's getting a little fluffy. <laughs> I know that fluffy situation. That's where I was getting. Seem harmless enough. <laughs> did you like it? Yes, I did like it. What was the best product? Um, well, the only new one that I got was the. I'll put it up already was the Hydromat liquid lipstick in the shade, oh no, the Metal Matte in the shade It's Complicated, and the Mini Slay All Day Spray in the Scent Rose. Those were the two products I didn't have yet. Remember that too quick? Just chilling. Children nowadays have enough mental health issues without people. Yeah, I know, right? You're the first person to just came out to, and the first thing I said to her was, and? Because I knew I would never judge her. Oh, that's awesome. Good. Uh... 
Oh, but with the giveaway, it's awesome because those were all shades that I use, except for the BB Plus. That one I can't really use. So, it's good to have the backups of all of them because I use them enough, I'm probably going to need a refill. Yeah, hydromats are really nice. And the staying power of them is also really nice. It's funny, this shade of eyeshadow is almost the exact same shade of that blush from CoverGirl. It's beautiful. Gonna send you something else. No, you don't have to send me anything else. I love what I got. I'm excited about what I got, and I appreciate it. That palette. Ah, can't have you with all dupes. <laughs> no, it's okay. Um, honestly, since I'm an affiliate, I pretty much have like everything anyway. So I don't want you to have to do that. I feel bad if you did that. So I'm going to blend this purpley shade out now with the pinkier shade here and use the same M330 brush that I used earlier. The conversation with my sister was pretty funny, honestly. She was crying because she thought I was going to hate her. She stopped crying and we broke out laughing. I was so hard to cry. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. We tend to spoil. Aw. Well. I love makeup. I've never said no to makeup. Well, I take that back. I have said no to some makeup. But I don't usually say no to makeup. So I'm, I won't turn you down too hard. But I'm blending this out with the more red-toned, rosy shade. Because... Yes, the color I laid down is a beautiful mauve purple tone, but I want it to kind of turn a little bit more warm, rosy. Hey, whenever I first started getting into all this, the only thing I had mainly like to give me the most variety was the BH Cosmetics Take Me to Brazil palette. And that's how I got... 99% of my looks because it gave me all the colors that I needed and I use the NYX white base to make any color eyeliner I needed because I could just put it on my waterline I mean on my um, crease or no on my lid my gosh and make any color liner wing I wanted and then I could use the jumbo white pencil on my waterline and then pack any shadow I wanted on that and make it any color that I wanted. You can use the darker BB in your kit. Yes, I could. You are right. And I am building that. So that's a good idea. Okay, lower lash line's done. It's bootyful. I think it's bootyful. Now, I'm going to um, color... Um, you know... Color switch, color switch. This brush, the M33, no, M200, because it's a big, giant, fluffy brush. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the point of it, because it's very pointed, right here. And just to blend out that really sharp edge and kind of diffuse it just a little bit, because I want it to be not as sharp. That's all. What's your favorite brand and what's your least favorite? Oh, man. Favorite brand. I think ColourPop is my favorite brand. I think. I'm pretty sure. Because I have the most variety for pretty affordable. Least favorite brand. <sighs> Probably KVD. For now, anyway. Or Huda. But that's tea related. That's not product related. I have 
both buy cosmetics and some basic makeup. My boyfriend splurged me because I got so depressed I wouldn't get out of bed, and it's one thing I loved to do. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, Deb. Well, that's good of you to get her all that stuff. <laughs> Recommend Ross. They have really good makeup on clearance all the time. Check the expiration dates, though. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. They do have a lot. And a lot of really good stuff. Okay. So now, I need... I'm going to go ahead and do my brows before I do everything else. Because really, I'm pretty much done with the face. So let's do the brow pencil first. So I'm going to use the e.l.f. brow pencil. Use the spoolie. And clean the brows out. Yeah, I'm learning. Slowly, but learning. Hey, that's what it takes. Doesn't matter how fast or slow it's done, just as long as you never stop, you know? Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. What do I do? <sighs> Ross has been caught putting expires on sale. Got a nasty chemical burn from a primer from them. Hey, sales are great. I'm just kidding. Kind of. I mean, sales are great. But not for expired products. Okay, now I'm brushing the e.l.f. pencil through the brow. This isn't a very sharp pencil, but I'm just using it to fill in. Oh, and if you guys go to Ross and TJ Maxx and you um, are checking out some products and you decide that you want to see if the lipstick is a great color before you do and you swatch it, don't. Don't. Don't swatch it. Thank you, that's all. Same thing at CVS. I don't know how many times I will buy a lipstick at CVS, forget to check it, get home, go to open it and use it, and realize that it's been opened and swatched. I will not use a swatched lipstick. Sorry, Jeffrey tweeted out a tweet. Stop because I ran out of concealer foundation. I just ordered it for me. Ooh, the Fit Me Foundation is great. Public service announcement. Yes, exactly. Right? Please don't swatch it. Me too. Especially like, like at TJ Maxx. You know, they'll have some pretty good stuff sometimes. And then I get really excited about it whenever I see it because it's all new and shiny and like top tier. I'm like, ah, oh, yes, I can't wait to get that. And then I get it and I look at it. Realize that somebody's opened it and dug their freaking finger in it. It's so gross. And then I'm even more bitter because that means I have to leave again. And I can't just play with it. Gotta go back to town. Deal with returning it. Hi, uh, yes, somebody put their finger in this and that's disgusting. Can I find another one or get my money back? Oh man, I just messed up. Oh no, I made my brow extra big. Dang it. Okay, whatever. Um, What look are you going for today? I don't know, this one. Just kind of a, I don't know, more of on the sort of neutrally side-ish. Yes, exactly. If you want to try before you buy, go to Ulta or Sephora. TJ Mackey, yuck. Yeah, I mean, as long as they're sealed, I'm cool with TJ Maxx. I just don't want an already opened product. As most people do not want an already opened product. 
Because, I mean, ooh, you know? This brow pencil is very not my shade. That's fun. Love that for me. Man, I messed up my brow. Stunning, babe. Thanks, Boo Boo Kitty. Man. That's the only reason I won't buy things from there. And if it's coming from not older, it has to be sealed. Yeah, exactly. I, I concur with that wholeheartedly. Okay, there we go. Fix the brow a little bit. Still kind of messed up, but it's better. It ain't as good as it's gonna get, but it's better than it used to be. <sighs> neutral. Well, it's a little too rosy to be called neutral, but it's a little... It's toned down from my norm. Now... We're going to use the Maybelline Tattoo Studio. Okay, Cora. Well, good night. I love you, and thank you for hanging out. <laughs> How do you contour? Well, what helps me is, and I kind of use this for clients as well, when you do this, find the point where your sunken cheek and the top of your cheekbone meet like where the arch stops or where the sunkenness stops and contour within that hole essentially and you highlight above it okay i'm gonna use this little brow tattoo blah blah thing right here Oh no! It's like kind of dry. Oh, there we go. Okay, now I'm getting some out. Whew, that was odd. Let's try that again. Hmm, still not good at all. Great. Great! Wow, what even is this? This sucks. I don't like it. Why do I have this? It's not working. Okay, whatever. It'll be good for somebody with no brows, but it's not working. Okay, Deb. Thank you for hanging out. That's not, no, not bad at all that you've never done your brows. <sighs> Man, that really sucks. This is not good. I don't like it. I guess I'm going to try to do what I was doing. No, I can't do it with this either. So I'm distracted by my TV. A whole lot of clips of the Aussie boy band, human nature. I had a huge crush on that. Oh, that sucks, Lib. <laughs> oh, anything. I'm trying to fall this is a pain in the butt. I love me some falsies. And I I think... Okay, the process of the brow isn't my favorite necessarily, but I feel like the end result of brows are the most fun to me. I don't know, it is kind of amazing seeing the full face done once it is done, but just my brows are so full that it's hard to kind of use a lot of products 
that aren't just to fill in some empty spaces. Oh wow, that's very off. One is very, very arched and the other is more of a curve. I gotta fix that. Okay, that's, well, I thought that was better, but now not so much. Maybe I just need to add a little bit of arch to this one. Oh, that's not good either. I need to stop. Someone take the pencil from me. Take it now. Okay, I'm done. Yes. Me too. But see, normally I like to take a little bit of... I've been using the brow blade a lot lately from Urban Decay, which has like the tattoo side on it, or like the ink side on it. And I like to make little hair strokes with that, and it's perfect. But that's okay, I'm done. Now I'm going to use the Believe Beauty Eyebrow Styling Gel. I know I can't get this from CBS, but... I don't have another one right now, so this is the one I have to use for now. So I'm going to run it through here first, pull it through to the tail, and front hairs, and start swirling up. And then backwards. I think this is my favorite part of doing my brows. Because that's when they get the most soap browy, where they're like, oh, I can't wait until my Patrick Ta brow product comes in. Oh no, a tattoo brow incorrect? That would suck. Those are never sisters. They're distant cousins that see one another at Thanksgiving and usually get into a fight. <laughs> That's awesome. I love that. I mean, at least they still talk. They could just be acquaintances. See, this is me kind of being a little bit extra with my brow because a lot of the time I'll just use my Anastasia Dip Brow Gel and run it through once, shape the brow with it, and set the brow since it does all of it at the same time and just be done. That's like the extent of my brow. And that's honestly half the time when it looks the best. But I really do like taking my time with my brows because I like them to look good. They're kind of like the shape of my face, you know? But right now I feel like, I don't know, something's weird with them. Okay, now very quickly, before I finish everything off on the eyes, I need to use the inner corner highlight brush again and make sure that I add that highlight in because I lost it. <gasps> No, great idea. Oh my gosh, great idea. I'm going to use the Juvia's Place highlighter and use the same brush I used earlier, the M416, and go in with that. Ooh, girl! Yes, exactly. It's like... Oh, 
Oh, I get it, Ruth. <laughs> you did, but I read it the way you meant it. <laughs> you spelled pencil like pencile dysfunction. You know what? I think I'm going to use this highlighter on the brow bone as well because I want some more lightness. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love this. Oh yeah. This highlighter is everything. <laughs> yeah, thanks Ruth. We do speak typo here. Oh my gosh, one day in like 3027, typo is going to be its own language. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I'm obsessed with that. That's beautiful. Okay, that's done. That's done. So now we get to move on to waterline liner real quick. Um, so it can be nude or it can be like a hot pink or a purple. I'm really kind of liking the super white pink, the nudie tone. I'm waiting for the lag to catch up with itself so I can see what suggestion you guys give for the liner because I still don't see it because the lag is so intense. Purple. Vote for purple. Okay. Next vote. I feel like my lower lash line isn't blown out enough. Purple, nude, and pink. Okay, so we have a vote for each. You know what? I'm going to do this. And whichever one that lands closest to me when I drop them on the table is the one I'm going to wear. Because they're all going to be pretty, I think. Nude. Mm, I feel like I, I broke a few things when I did that. <laughs> Whispers purple. I'm actually really happy with this one. I'm glad this one was an option because I like it. Now I need a lash curler. No, there you are. <sighs> well, thank you. It didn't work. What do you mean it didn't work? Oh, you picking purple, or whispering purple. Yeah, no, it didn't work. <gasps> Milk Cosmetics is launching another palette. It's the 420 eyeshadow palette. 
will be available tomorrow. Oh my gosh. Aw, oh, that's really sweet, Alex. <laughs> Subtle ASMR influencing. Love that. Oh, they're doing liners and everything. Okay, well, I might be not getting the Rust palette if this one launches tomorrow, and I might just get this one instead. If it launches on Sephora's website. Ow. That's really sweet, guys. I don't know if I would call it a masterpiece, per se, but it usually works in the end. <clears throat> okay, what am I doing now? Oh, I never did my eyeliner. I suck. I am going to do my eyeliner really quick. Going to use the NYX. Oh, wait. No, I'm not. I forgot that. Well, mm, mm, no. Okay, we're going to use it. It's the NYX, like, little ball thing at the end. Okay, Liv, good luck. You know, I think I'm just going to keep this little basic wing over here. <clears throat> Let's say I'm still here too, Ella. I've been so busy, I haven't been able to watch most of your live, but I just want to stay and really show my support. Well, thank you, because, you know, you staying and showing your support helps more than you know. It really does. <clears throat> well, see, okay, because my most of my eyeliners are not drugstore, like CVS. And this NYX one is, I think, the only... Oh, no, I had a Wet n' Wild breakup proof one. Oh, well. Well, I grabbed this one. So, aw, thank you, so sweet. Or, thank you, that's so sweet. Um, but I grabbed this one, and it's the one with the little ball at the end of it by NYX. And it's just weird to use. But I'm trying anyway. I should have been using this mirror. It's just so awkward having the little ball at the end of it. Because, like, it's helpful and not helpful all at the same time. <laughs> well, thank you. I just feel like I practice a lot. That's 
really what it comes down to for me. My eye is going to start watering. I can feel it. How was it? Or should I say how it is? What? What do you mean? I almost feel like I'm using a gel pencil. Oh, you mean like this one just in the sense of using it? My eye is watering and it's bad. Okay, we're gonna need to fix that side. Oh, well, okay, like the little ball at the end helps in the fact that whenever you're getting like right here, you can just use the top of the little ball to get right there. But the downside is that whenever you're trying to make a super thin line, it's hard to remember that the tip of, you know, you're using a sphere to apply eyeliner. So using like the point of a sphere that's touching you versus trying to push the whole sphere on, it's hard to remember that. It would take a lot of practice to use it. Do you like the Fenty eyeliner? I feel like it hardens to a plastic or something weird where it feels plasticky. I haven't used the Fenty liner, actually. I do feel like the uh, Huda liner is like that though. So if you have the hood aligner and it does the same thing, I could understand that. Welcome back, Liv. I missed you. Where have you been all my life? Okay, now I need to take the other inner corner highlight brush that I used because that eyeliner Kind of messed up my inner corner a little bit. I mean, you can see the black of that transfer just a tad. It's because of my watering eyeball. I'm just going to blend that out right here. So it'll be like it never existed. And over here, because it happened here too. Boom. Done. Fixed it. Okay. Yeah. Weird. It's a little too low on this side on the wing though. I wonder if I can fix that. Uh, you're welcome, Muchly. I'm actually just going to take my sponge, pinch it really, really sharp. As sharp as I can.
Is that successful? I don't think that was successful. No. Okay. Well, the wings are just going to be uneven. That's fine. Wow. So uneven. If I look straight at you, they look kind of ridiculous. Man. Should have just stayed away from the eyeliner. You know, it's really matte, though. I'll give it that. It's a very matte liner. Okay, I'm done with that. No more looking at my liner. No more looking. We're not going to look. I need my lash glue. Not using drugstore lash glue, using my red aspen lash glue. This is just my lash glue for forever, you know? I gotta use it now. I am changing my mind about... Oh, I don't know. Let's face it, nothing is even at the moment during this self-isolation. No, it is not. You are so right. No, never mind. I was gonna say I'm changing my mind about using the primer, but... I am still going to. I'm gonna go ahead and get my... Latches open. Just concealer and blend it out with a pointed brush. Usually I'll use a flat brush to do it, but I'm just not feeling it right now. Like I know I'm not going to take pictures of this look and I'm not going anywhere. So I kind of just, you know, whatever. <laughs> it's good enough for if I'm just like being me normally, you can't really tell it. I do feel like my lower lash line uh, shadow isn't very, I don't know, it's not as dramatic as I normally make it, you know what I mean? Or it's not blown out as much or as big or whatever. Whatever the words are that I'm trying to think of and say is what I mean. That's a little better. Okay. Happy with that now. So, I'm going to go ahead and prime my lashes. Now, the first time I did this, I absolutely hated the result that I got from this. It was so clumpy and, like, it was just gross. But we're going to try it again. And we're going to see if the same thing happens. Or if I love it this time. It's going to be mushed into false lashes anyway, so it's not really going to matter. That's why I'm okay with trying it again. It definitely wets those lashes, though. You can for sure see that happening. But see, the last time I used this, I had just gotten a lash perm done, and my lashes got fried, so they weren't in the greatest shape anyway, and I'm hoping that maybe that had something to do with it. I've been using some lash um, like repair stuff from Maybelline, it's like a lash serum, and I'm really hoping that that stuff is going to fix them. Mushed is the technical term, yes. I'm glad you asked, because that's very important. Yeah, well, okay, like the um, the Lancome one, I love, absolutely love what that does to my lashes. I love using that one every time. Even the Urban Decay um, Perversion Lash Primer is really, really nice. Just this one, I didn't like the clumpiness that it gave. It wasn't just like a building 
volume type clumpy. It like was a chunky clumpy. Like it looked like I had something hanging off my lashes. I got it on my beautiful even wing. That sucks. Okay, now I let that dry. Third of lash perm. Well, it is where you... The process of it is they put like this little tube along your lash line on your lid. And then your lashes get wet with the perm solution and are stretched over that rod. It's a, a lash perm rod, essentially. But it's stretched over that, and then the perm breaks down the bottom. The perm perms your lashes on that little tube, and then once um, the solution is done and set, the lash rod's taken off, and you have super curly lashes after that. But if they leave it on too long, it gives your lashes a chemical burn, just like if you were to perm your hair the same way and leave it on too long, it does the same thing. That's what happened to mine. They got burned and they broke off. So I had a bunch of super curly, little tiny short lashes that were like up and weird. Oh, that's still really wet. Oh my gosh. Well, what can I do while I'm waiting? Oh, lips. I can go ahead and do lips. That'll work. So this is very mauve -y. Ooh, I think I know what I'm going to use. At school? Uh, well, yeah, actually, I did get it done at school. They were, they had just started offering it the class that um, was after mine. Okay, here we go. I want to use the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick in Les Chocolates. Or Les Chocolates. Or, I don't know, whatever it's called. Oh my gosh, it smells just like brownies. Mmm. Oh, it's so pretty. You always shave your mustache upwards. I just trim mine and it kind of just grows where it grows except right along my lip line. For that part, I take a uh, little trimmer thingy. I think it's meant for your eyebrows, actually. But I use that and just trim any flyaway hairs that are kind of longer going over my lip line and get rid of those. Oh, I love this so much.
<laughs> so do you. Okay. <laughs> I didn't expect that. That was really funny. <laughs> That tastes so good. I just want to eat it. It literally tastes just like the chocolate Rice Krispies treats. Okay, that's done. Now I'm going to use the Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara and hope that I don't look too clumpy. Oh, wait. I got to put some glue on the latches so that they're ready for me. Okay, sit that there and wait, and So they feel really dry because the product on them definitely dried solid. It's a little bit difficult to really get in there and get them. There we go. Okay. But once I do... They definitely seem thicker. And they're actually not looking clumpy this time. Wow. I kind of don't even want to put on the lashes. Dang! Some lash primer so used before dry. Oh. <laughs> Why would you do that, though? Because then they would, like, mix and be gross. I don't even know what that one said. I just know I really like what it did. Like a lot. Oh, my lash glue already dried. That's weird. Hmm. Oh, thank you. These are my nails. Like, only mine. No acrylic on them because Mark and I, well, I soaked them in acetone last night. And um, Mark helped me scrape off all of the acrylic. And then I just repainted them. So this is like all me. Only me. I'm proud. Oh, hi. Welcome back. Well, I sure hope you don't get dropped off. Okay. Let's throw this sucker on.
you know, it does feel weird with no acrylics because I'm used to having strength and power within my nails to be able to like use them to type as an example. And with it being my natural nail, I can't do that now. A, because my natural nail has been covered so long that it hasn't been used at all. And B, the acrylic is definitely stronger than my natural nail and they are so brittle because they're so worn down. So I'm using a restorative base coat so that I can try to bring back the health a little bit of them. I just don't know if I'll be able to last because I really want acrylics back on. Wow, that is really tickling the outer corner. Oh, that's why. It's like a little stray. A little, little stray puppy lash. You know what? I just remembered that whenever I did my initial review of this primer, I did find that the instruction, or there were no instructions whenever I was looking for it. I got it from Ulta, and I got it during that holiday sale. It was the duo in the, like, snowflake packaging. And I did a full face of holiday makeup video. And that's where these came into play. And I specifically remember waiting for them to dry because they didn't have any instructions. And assuming that that's how they went. They just definitely worked a lot better this time. That is for sure. Like they actually look really good and I would be comfortable using it again without any um, lashes. You know that could have a play on the formula as well because the formula dries out in mascara over time so the formula changes so maybe the formula is better when it's drier random stray lash yes exactly great I look are they from the two moth palettes thank you it, they were from uh yes they were from the colored rain very cute palette and the Huda Medium palette. Huda Nude Medium palette. Yay, glad you're back. My phone keeps going off. Oh no, I never bended these. You know, I used to be literally the worst person ow, at putting on lashes whenever I first started doing this. I'm still no expert, but man, they look so much better now than they used to. Probably also helps that I never actually put them on my lash uh, or on my eyelid 
They never rest on my eyelid. They only sit below so that they don't mess with my eyeshadow look. I hate that. That really grinds my gears. Awesome. See, now I do BoxyCharm palette. <laughs> okay, I'll accept the challenge later. <laughs> That's funny. I don't know, Liv. I was pretty bad. Like, pretty... Pretty, pretty bad. So that's pretty much the entire look. I just need to get rid of this mascara transfer real quick. And I think I'm just going to do that with a brush because it's easier. Let's use this brush. Okay, that's done. Now, under eye. Oh, please don't stick. Yay, you didn't stick. Oh my gosh, you guys almost let me not put mascara on my lower lash line. My lower lashes. You never tried lashes? I... My suggestion, if you are wanting to try lashes and you, I think we need to have a who is the worst competition because I may win that one. <laughs> That's funny. But with the, um, oh, yeah, yeah, with the lashes, I think the best way to practice with lashes is with no other makeup. No mascara, no nothing. Just to put glue on, put the lash on your eye. That's it. Just do that over and over and over again and it becomes so much easier to just nail it after that without even really thinking about it oh wait let me fix the eyeliner real quick wow that inner corner no, it's that liner. That liner ruined my inner corner. <sighs> That's such a bummer. Primer? Yes, I have actually tried primer on the lower lashes. It. My problem is my my lower lashes are actually really quite big. So it made them way too big, and it was kind of a problem, not a pretty one. So I hadn't done it since then because of that. It didn't look the greatest on me. But I feel like it could really work if your lashes are more sparse and you're trying to make it look like there's more down there, I think that would work really well for that. Oh, man. I love having lashes. I mean, like, owning lashes. I mean, like, buying lashes. Or boxy lashes, whichever. <laughs> I didn't mean that, like, offensively. I just meant, like, it was too much for me. Like, a lot, a lot. But I also run into the problem of my mascara transferring to my under eyes a lot, and it makes like that raccoon circle. Ugh. Why? Every time.
I'm so tired of doing that. Aw. Oh. So you need the Gerard Cosmetics Eye Base. You need Dark Shadow up on your crease. And an Eye Restorative Serum at night. Okay, Skittles, what did you cook me for dinner? Panda eyes, yes, exactly. And that's not a cute look. Unless you're a panda, then it is super cute. But I'm not a panda. Got it. <laughs> You know, this mascara in itself, even without the primer, is actually really volumizing. It's just crazy how different the formula becomes. After some time. Made schnitzel with corn and mashed potatoes. I made my boyfriend's lunch. It was a salad with homemade dumplings. Oh, so he didn't get any schnitzel? Half lashes are a nice way to open up eyes rather than a full strip. Yeah, they are. You can really get that nice, like, doe look or, like, foxy look, whatever they're calling it, if you put them at the uh, end half. Aw, well, thank you. But see, whenever I add a primer here, you know, the primer a lot of the time will give you more volume. Which is great, but whenever I do that, it like, it makes it look like instead of having lashes, I just have like a black bar. Because they become so thick. Oh my gosh, guys, I think I'm done. Isn't it amazing that these are drugstore lashes? Like, I don't even think they're five bucks. And that's amazing. I do feel like my lip is a little too nude. No, you did. It's for his work one. He's a dock worker. Helps clean the trees. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Sorry, I need a little... Gerard Cosmetics Lip Pencil in the shade Mudslide. This is kind of just lacking a little bit for me. your lip color. I haven't tried a good lash primer in so long. My favorite are Ardell Wispies or Walmart and they're nice. Yeah, Ardell Wispies are nice. These are the uh, Believe Beauty Goddess lashes. Um, Dollar General. Not technically drugstore. Aw! Thanks, Nathan. That's super sweet. Uh, lip color. Lip is the L'Oreal Infallible Les Chocolats Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick. I don't know which shade it is. Unless Les Chocolats. Oh, there it is. 848. Dose of Cocoa. It was one of the lighter ones. But I was really excited 
to uh, use that one again because it smells and tastes just like chocolate. And it's fantastic. Terrified of doing nude looks? I don't know that I've ever heard that because nude looks are usually the safer ones. No, would that make them more faux mink type looking? I can't wait for you to either live. That's going to be fun. World's biggest haul. Well, I didn't want to line my lips fully, but I guess I am now. I love color too, but I don't know. I feel like more people find neutral looks more socially acceptable. So I'm not as scared of them because I don't know. It just doesn't make me as scared of them. You know, it's weird. This lipstick still has shine to it, and it's a matte. Is it French her hoo? Oh, no, that's so really sticky. I'm kind of using this lip liner as a shader. And I'm hoping I can blend it. <clears throat> With lighter, so darkest is my tip. Oh yeah, for sure. Today's look is my comfortable spot. Okay, gotcha. I I really like. I just like creating. As long as I can have fun with it, I don't care. Ooh, you know what? Oh, a gloss would have like no lasting power. Mm. I kind of want to use a gloss, but I don't know. <laughs> well, then I'm, I'll be the king of laziness. Then we can all be a member of royalty in the lazy family. Yep, I'm losing, using a gloss. Hold on. Which one? Glitter or no? No glitter. No glitter today. I want to use kind of a darker one, I guess. Um, kind of torn. We have 
I know, right, Liv? Because it said infallible mat. But I have this buxom sugar drop, which I don't... It's not really deep enough. I don't think... Yeah, there's sugar drop. That might work, but it's a little red for what I want. Then there's Alomar Cosmetics in the shade Las Desnudas. That one is a little pink, but I do like the Buxom one more than that one. That one's like an orangey pink. <sighs> oh gosh, Ruth, I know what you mean. This one's Nude Kisses. Oh, this is it. I found it. Never mind. I don't need help. <laughs> I thought I did, but I like that one. Ooh, but that's not going to show the lip color through, and it's going to lessen it. Never mind. Okay, the Buxom one. Buxom. That's it. For sure. My little leaf sleeps with us every day anyway. I do cut hair. I have a license to cut hair. Well, actually, sorry, it hasn't come in yet. So technically, I don't have a license yet. But I graduated school, so I have a license. They generally sleep in the bed, but at our feet. When it thunders, they will be laying on top of our heads and pillows with nervous farts. Oh, no. Nervous farts are scary. Oh, I kind of don't want to gloss, guys. Like, I do, but I don't. Hold on. Let me try something real quick. I want the gloss to blend this in. That's why I want the gloss. And it would be pretty, too. But let me try something really quick. Because I would much rather have matte. I really like the matte. I think it's really cute. Uh-uh. Oh, you should be around when Mark gets nervous. That is a fart. I'm just kidding. He doesn't fart when he gets nervous. Actually, he doesn't really get nervous. But usually, my little leaf doesn't fart unless I give him too much sour candy. That's when he farts. But I only give him too much sour candy when he begs too much because I fall for it. And he and Mark will tag team me. They will, like, hold on. So when and if I'm eating in bed, Leaf, you know, Mark's laying in bed to the left of me, so Leaf will climb up on Mark's chest and sit there and look at him, and just look, and then he'll look over at me, make sure I'm still eating, then he'll turn back around and just look at him, and then Mark will be like, Daddy, I think Leaf wants one, and then Leaf will be like, like, hey, yes, you told him, now I see him, oh God, <laughs> Nathan, that's what Mark is like, too. Especially when he drinks milk, it gets really bad. Or ice cream. When he has Sonic ice cream, it's even worse. Did you get Patreon set up? No, and I was actually thinking, instead of doing a Patreon, I just got approved to have YouTube um, memberships. 
and I think I'm gonna use that as my Patreon instead. But I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off until I can let's just say create a little more content for that specifically. And loves cheese dip, yeah. Oh, licorice! I would imagine that would <laughs> a black licorice fart. Could you imagine? My brother after he eats noodles. Oh man, noodles! I couldn't imagine. See, I want to do where um, I start merch before I open that because I want to be able to give merch discounts to people that have channel memberships. <laughs> Babe, I didn't know you were listening still. Sorry to give away all your fart secrets. And I also want to give exclusive vlog content. <laughs> yeah, big brother, he's always listening. Um, yeah, I want to incorporate exclusive vlog content. And kind of more like behind the scenes type stuff. I just don't want to create something that has a membership without making it worth it, you know, without making it really good. Oh, that's awesome, Skittles. Yeah, Big Papa. Kyle has Zach and then Zach farts are gross. Usually the dogs put them in shame, but tonight he's been lighting it up. Oh, man. You know, I think I'm just finding excuses to use this lipstick because it tastes so good. Start a Patreon. I just... I want to have good content for it first, is all. But... What's the difference in having a Patreon and a YouTube membership account? Yeah, but I just don't want to be one of those creators that just starts a membership and is like, pay me, and I give you nothing, you know? I want to be, I want to be the good guy. Is that too much? Wait, when am I ever not too much? Never mind. I feel like it's not blending very well. Really, I'm just prolonging the live. That's all. I just want to hang out with you guys longer. Oh no, oh no, oh no, everything fell. Great. No, stop it! Let me try to use a fluffy brush and see if maybe I can blend this like that. Or 
of like the ones that start a Patreon and everything they do is for their paying subscribers and not their regular subs. Yeah, right? That too. Patreon can get you more. A simple $1 per video to help. I did a Patreon where it's due to reason. A pool darkening ball. Huh. I had debated a Patreon at one point. I just... I don't know. I feel like it's sort of pointless until I have more growth. I don't know though. There we go. That's what I needed that whole time. A brush blend. Well, that's awesome, Liv. It's appreciated. Honestly, the way to support YouTubers without membership services is binging their videos all the time. Well, guys, that's it. Like, this is, like, all of the look, you know? Like, this is everything. Like, I'm done done. I did my brows, and this time it only took me 4 hours, 52 minutes, and 59 seconds. It's like a record. We're breaking records here. Just wait, maybe next time it'll take three hours and 59 minutes. It's gonna be crazy. Oh, good. And I got all the bronzer out of my hair. Oh, it is a great day. Okay, guys. Well, I'm gonna go clean my brushes. I hope you had fun, because I had fun. I always love hanging out with you guys. And thanks for helping me um, keep What's-Her-Face at bay. Miss Bible. Let's call her Miss Bible. Not by Belle, but like Bible. Thank you. I do like this lippy, too. I feel like the nude by itself was a little, like... Flat, we'll say. Well, it's a flat, yeah. But I like it with this liner. I think the mudslide liner is a perfect liner for the look. Like a bird. I'll only fly away. I don't know where my home is. I'm glowing? Oh, good! I love to glow. Okay, I'm gonna quit being weird, and I'm gonna leave now. I just wanna do my, like, my narcissistic montage pose. And I wanted to look like a bird. Apparently. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, goodbye! Love you.